So we had to record the first four minutes over again. No one would realize if we didn't say that. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm lucky. I, I was like, man, something doesn't look right. So lucky for better four minutes than two hours. Um, this is true. So first of all, it took us two seconds to get flagged by YouTube. I was talking, we were talking before. La- for last week's episode. For last week's episode for the boys are back in town. And just how, like, I've had people upload my, this is what I wanted to get to with that conversation real quick, and then we'll get back to what we were talking about. But I've had people completely steal my videos and put them up. And they, they. Oh, yeah. I remember, I remember that. that. Yeah. Well, why, why aren't they getting flagged? Because your content is not copyrighted. Uh, or, I mean, that's, that's, argue, a, good, that's let, a good argument. Let's be honest. Uh, that's a good argument. And Universal like music doesn't own well, 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 that's what I'm saying yes. is that there's, there, is, is it because there's corporate interest in fucking Google? Oh, and, yeah. That's and, exactly yeah. what it is. I mean, I don't understand how copyright works. I wasn't sure if you created something, then, then you publish it. That's yours automatically. I, that, I, I don't know either. I've yeah. been told you if you have an idea, you write it to um, write a letter to yourself so and keep it sealed. Poor man's patent or whatever. And I've also been told now if you have something you think you've come up with, post it on Instagram, then immediately archive it, and it shows it timestamps when you posted it. But I mean, but it's different. It ha- Writing down an idea and having a finished product published is two different things. Because right? yeah. a video oh, yeah. is something you made and yeah. put out. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, the Bobby Skullface fan channel. <laughs> yeah, well, Reaction videos. Bobby Skullface <laughs> reviews <laughs> reviews Dune Runner. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Pinkerton Reacts. To Bobby Skullface. Yeah. And I'll do it to your Twitch channel too. You know, I I wanted to do like a a, a sit down Saturday on reviewers. Like Re- review the reviewers. Yeah, but 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 people in the comments, I, I I suggested it as a possible idea for like a beginning of an episode, and people people were like, "Don't do it. It's fucking useless." Because I think they thought I was going to be on there like and fuck shitting him, him on. And you know what? That guy, that guy's a fucking asshole. This guy's really good, but he's never cool enough to attend Thanksgiving dinner in my house or whatever the case may be. But I, I wasn't going to really approach it that way. I was just going to say like what I think. I was actually going to try to be. Somebody said my my mic was too loud, so I'm trying to be cognizant of it. Um. But I would try to be. Uh, oh, and by the way, my mic's too loud. How about how about a hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Bobby, your mic's a little loud. <laughs> you know what I mean? People fucking courtesies. So it's kind of out of control. But like, um, I was I was thinking to myself like, uh, uh, lost my train of thought. How to re- how you're reviewing these reviewers? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. You know, go to this guy for this. Go to this guy for this. This is where I think the strong suit is here. Oh, it's like recommend. I, yeah, like. yeah. Like like this is where I think this is where everybody has a place. You also know. like that little Instagram stories thing where people put your favorite reviewer. Who <laughs> yeah, yeah, a live version of that. And um, but you know, it's, I mean, it's whatever. I just thought, I, and and I was going to talk a little bit about like, like you know, like because people have setups. Like some people have like really dope setups, and you know, like uh, like off the bottom is for instance, like you know, people have very strong opinions about that dude. Like I don't really have a dog in that fight. He he uh, he's always been kind to me, but he doesn't make the type of content that i'm interested in sure you know mm-hmm. consuming um but like when i see his shit like how like it's like it's all white and yep. all you see is the figure yeah like that's a clean setup mm-hmm. you know like like he should get credit for that um you know and then uh, other people too i don't want to give it you know because and i mean it's it's like these setups aren't just for utilitarian it's a it's a look that's re- um associated with certain people like if you see a white background with toys you're like oh that's that guy yeah yeah it's one of a couple people that could be doing that yeah. review like my my setup is like I, I, i'm thinking about redoing it but like the thing was is in the beginning i had a setup that i was just trying to have something and then like it became like look i don't want my shit to look professional like per, like i want it to kind of look like it's been pieced together but now i feel like i'm at a point where people don't recognize the the kind of humor in it anymore and they just think it's my inadequacy and that's mm. what makes me want to right. change yeah I, I can i can understand that so i might i might redo my if i move my shit in there i might i might and joe have you been brainstorming dude because time's ticking <laughs> time's ticking for who <laughs> for what for me um, you don't even have anything to go there yet. I think you can put a hot tub there. You can definitely put a hot tub there. <laughs> no, yeah, no, hang on. Getting the hot tub in here you know, would be a different story. You know what the problem would be, though? I have no ventilation system in this room. Oh, like fog so it'd be quick. fucking moldy as yeah. fuck. Yeah. Like, like. yeah, you'd have, some, you'd have some, some, some rent comics for sure. Ugh. Yeah, because it's a narrow space. It has, um, Bobby's a, 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 lap, space. a lap pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or one of those pools above ground against the current. Exactly. Yeah. 
Or, or like uh, in John Wick, like where they were, uh, where they where they were at that little pool party, like that little. Oh, the little al- mm-hmm. alcove, yeah. You see, I mean, dropping John Wick references know, right? for you, bro. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Did you see that video? Also, went kind of viral this week of this guy speeding in Baltimore. It's caught with like I think some street camera or something. This guy goes like flying. Th- oh, I sent it right. I sent it. Yeah, I seen. It. I didn't know it was in Baltimore. And it looks like yeah. like he <laughs> hit eighty eight miles an hour. <laughs> oh. So he, he hit some kind of transformer yeah. or something, and all you see is like these huge <laughs> blue sparks. It looks like the dude just went straight back to the future. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty wild. Only in B more. You can have like a miniature Batcave back there if you got one one scale Batman, and then have like, we- weapons and shit on the side. Hey. Uh, that's not a bad idea. That's, I, a that's bad what I would idea. do. I, was, or, I, I didn't t- say that to you because I don't think that's your bag, but that's my bag. That's not a bad or idea. just do Batman related. I mean, not necessarily like just put, you know, some Batman statues and, and get some of the props and whatnot. Yeah. Like yeah. an armory. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's mm-hmm. what I would do. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so, Joe, you had coffee first. Chris, how was your nerd week? Um, well, it was, I guess, four days. Um, I, I watched wrestling every day since we we last saw each other because it came oh, on yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it came on last night. And so I, I got a lot, I watched a little of it. I was thinking, because I think about random shit like the other day that, like, you remember how you said you're like a bit old to like Power Rangers, but you did? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not a dick. I no, like Power no, Rangers. No, no. But I, I, I think there's a number of things that we all have like that. Oh, like, yeah. Right, Ninja Turtles, come on. Yeah. Towards Dude. the end. Towards the end, in the beginning, I was but probably now, yeah. now, oh, now, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. now. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> We're too old for this shit. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but I was thinking, well, do you like the Power Rangers, even though you're older, it's also because like it's similar to wrestling. It is, and I think I think part of it is just, mm-hmm. it's it seems so silly With the costumes and the yeah, yeah. The, the, the pageantry. The pageant. and, Dude, yeah. we're and the, on we're on a thing today. The fighting and the dancing. Oh my god! <laughs> and I, I have a I have a funny story about being too old. So and it ties into GI Joe. So I was in eighth grade, mm-hmm. and I still I mean I wasn't you know playing with figures, but I was still buying GI Joes and stuff. And somehow that got mentioned at school, and there was this kid. I I remember his name was Tony. <clears throat> he was. He was one of those kids, like, he was there in the 8th grade, he wasn't there in the 7th grade, because he transferred in, and then he, I never saw him again after school was over. Like, I don't know if he went to a different high school, or he was kidnapped, <laughs> there was an Adam There's alert. There's always for, those kids. I, I don't know. But he came in that year, and he he played, bat, he was really good at basketball, so we went in with a cool crowd, and, and I remember him saying, oh, G.I. Joe's, you still play with those? I'm like, well, I mean, I have a bunch. He's like, oh, I got some. I'll bring you. You can just have them. I'm like, <laughs> score. <laughs> so this kid that was ragging on me about toys brought me, like, um, I mean, I remember it was Jinx that had come out that summer, <laughs> like three or four. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing. He's, right. trying, he's trying to be cool. But thanks for the Joe's. Yeah. Tony, wherever you are. I want to have a wish list conversation of Joe's at some at some point. <clears throat> okay. Um, for things that exist that you want to have. In this or new line, things in that the don't classified line. In the class like this new six inch oh, okay. line. Like like what figures would you really want to see to see made? Because they're, 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 they're I was looking at my three and three quarters and I'm missing a fair amount of Joe's. Do you want to kind of just give up on that at this point though, since I, they're coming out in the six inch? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, um, I thought you were I'm good with that line. I, and, I, yeah. I, like, I sold there might be mine. one or two, like I would pick up. If, yeah. I sold my three and three quarters a couple years ago, and and I, now I'm glad. I kind of regretted it afterwards, but now I'm glad I did just because. So Scarlet Lady Jane, who's the other girl? Cover Girl. Cover Girl. So the Cover Girl is one that I would want still for three and three quarters. Okay. That, but like it's a hard one to it's a hard one to find. But like little stuff like that, I would pick up like maybe one or two here and there if I have and only. If I had the space. Yeah. Like, if I had the space on my little steps yeah. for one more, yeah. cool. I'll buy one more, and then I'm done, you know? Yeah. But, like, um, I was thinking about it. I was like, man, I don't know how – they have a ton of iconic characters. Sure. But I don't know, for me, how far into the woods I'm interested in getting. You well, know? it's a season one, season two, <clears throat> season. It's kind of like Transformers, right? 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 You know, it, but they but, had a. I feel like they had an even larger cast. They of characters. did. I yeah. mean, because they were three dollars a piece. They didn't right. have you know right, but right, the, right, the right. vehicles, obviously, and then of the course the vehicles all had drivers and whatnot. Right. And, and realistically, they, mm-hmm. they're not going to make all of those in this new line, right? Give them time. I mean, look at Marvel Legends. But at the same time, they've put out three. The Marvel Legends. Good. Marvel has. More ink power, and Marvel has been around. This is like a revived sure. line that's very I mean, short. Sure. We sure. still have comics. We and, don't and, have any more. And has to be proven, right? Because it has a sketchy history. GI Joe, aside from the like the dolls, and then the G one, for lack of a better term, it has a sketchy history 
of failure. It's just it, like it Transformers. It, well, yeah. After after the initial three and three quarter line, they uh, they did uh, Sigma Six, which were these weird like mm-hmm. honestly, it kind of looked like a bionicle. With, <laughs> yeah. With you know, uh, I, I, I and I feel I, like even the logo looked like the bionicle. So yeah, they cool. changed they changed a bunch of stuff around, and you know they've always tried to go back to three and three quarters. They did the twenty fifth anniversary stuff, and I just I don't like the way they the the way the bodies are built. I don't. I just something about it doesn't sit right. It's not your aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's <clears throat> off putting. But I I think I mean, I think they're gonna go pretty deep. It just we're I think there's twelve figures now. If you have everything, yes. two snake eyes, um, three different Cobra commanders, which will be out relatively soon, and two Destros already. Uh, yeah, so but, a bunch of the same guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's mold reuse, right? Yeah. So like, but I, if you look at even the well, original, same character. Well, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not they, shitting they on are, it. I'm they just are saying doing that, that though. But they're using part, reusing parts. I'm only saying that to say this, like independent of that. I mean, it's it's probably ten, eleven completely original molds already. Yeah, yeah. So which is significant. Yeah, for new. Yeah, I mean, it seems, seems like it's doing well in the collectors community, right? Yeah, it does. I'm looking for them. You 40, can't find them in the shop. Forty year old guys are fighting in the toy aisles over them. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's and, train wreck of a collector group on Facebook. Oh, I mean, every oh, collectors group oh, is a goddamn train wreck, in my opinion. Well, these these are. Other than the quarter scale guys, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're taking the elite thing to a whole new level. Yeah, I'm sure it's that type funny. of talk to get Tyler. Tyler's gonna get a quarter scale for us all. Thing, he talking that type of shit. I just press Tyler's button. I mean, I, so are you? I'm really, elite. Are you really a collector though? You don't have a quarter scale. Ty, I think <laughs> based on conversation from last oh, night, I, I, he might be skipping quarter scale. Oh, and going to one more third scale. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that's limited selection though. Well, it is, I'd, it is yeah, but but it's it's I'm I'm looking at uh there's a few third scale stuff of I've, I've been also space. Yeah, but you know what they're not a lot of them don't take up that much more space it's than the, a quarter scale because most of them are vertical. It's yeah, something right. I've noticed. And they don't have right. as much set piece. It's not like a Correct. huge diorama at the bottom. Correct. I think it's because of size limitations. Correct. Yeah. Um but yeah. What is he thinking about third scale wise? What is he looking at? Uh, that Hush Batman that just oh, released, yeah. <laughs> that just previewed. There's a uh, and then there's a Superman coming as well. Oh, I didn't know. Superman didn't see looks that. fucking great. They did something really cool <clears throat> with that. So it's got like interchangeable portraits, and they come with a little bus stand, so you can mm-hmm. display. That's cool because I have like these idea. Vader heads. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so <laughs> shit sitting around. I got a Soundwave head sitting around somewhere. <laughs> right. I mean, I wish we had some people that knew how to 3D model and print stuff that could, you know, make those stands for people. <laughs> yeah. Um, there might be a market for that. What yeah. about um, G.I. Joe Extreme, though? Who remembers that? Oh, I remember G.I. Joe Did any of those toys? No. I was out by then. What's... um? Most 90s. I don't want to derail too much during your nerd week, but it's what okay. is what I is? Much. I mean, this is this is nerd. Yes, this is, this is the old school. <laughs> yeah, I just I just feel better for it if I apologize. Um, <laughs> You're gonna do fair. it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish, but <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you. You know what's at the top of my list? Fucking dreadnoughts. That's a, 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 a lot of people's lists. Yeah, because the, there's there's so many. Uh, they can make them so cool. They yeah. really could. And if Zartan doesn't turn blue, though, goddammit, I'll be pissed. <laughs> that was my favorite thing when I was a kid. I remember getting him and like running outside. Oh my god, he turned blue. You take his little chest plate off, and it's he's got tan lines. Because I was thinking like <laughs> Major Blood, mm-hmm. uh, Storm Shadow, Storm the classic, Shadow. classic, the classic White Storm one, Shadow, yeah. the twins, yes, um, and then like the green faced guy. Green. He has like a green helmet. Uh, he, he, if he, he, I feel like he hung out with the Dreadnoughts a fair bit, but he was a Cobra guy. Leatherhead? No, no, he was a GI Joe. Yeah, he. Um, I can't remember. He had like a. He almost looked like an eel, but he had like a green outfit. I had the three and three quarter. <clears throat> I don't know. You would know him if you saw him. I'm sure I would. Uh, Firefly, mm-hmm. and then like I mean like that and, and Mindbender, right? Serpentor. Yep. And that's pretty much. Well, then we can do. Vipers, Alley well, Vipers, no, 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 no. Vipers. That, that's like the command crew. <laughs> oh, the command crew, sure. You know, and like that's done. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, that's it. Unless Some of those look law. really wacky though. Like Serpentor is kind of wacky looking. They're all. I mean, a lot of them are kind of wacky, but they've been doing. I don't know. See, but the, I'm saying like the, the, this line is like more updated. Updated. Yes, I agree. You know, less, and that's going to be a tricky one to. Well, let's see if so. So let's see if Serpentor's in the video game. 
Because like the, the, the designs are video game uh, based on this video game. See, we're just having an organic conversation at this mm-hmm. point, Chris. I'm just gonna put some water on it, and let That's it grow, fine. let it grow. So here's another thing I just noticed. Don't M- use Gatorade though. M- <laughs> no, <laughs> it's got what the plants want. Masters Electrolytes. Of the, Masters of the Universe have a, a mobile game coming. Do they? So now I'm like, well, just let's check out those. Like, it's funny because that's what they're doing now. They've, they've, and I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with us that we didn't see this. Uh, no, I mentioned that. Oh, I did mentioned you? The, mm-hmm. the mobile game, but yeah. no, I'm not talking no, no, about no, the no, 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 no. We saw, we saw when we saw the mobile game. Yes, yes we started having the conversation. But I'm saying, like three years ago, uh-huh. when we were talking about, like, man, children's entertainment is changing. Kids mm-hmm. aren't what they're playing games. They're they playing don't games. care about figures. So now right. they just made games with figures for the games, and it's almost Fortnite. That's going to go down in history as paving that road. It is, it is for sure. Which is fucking crazy. Yeah, I tried to play Fortnite recently. I can't. It makes my head spin. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't do the. Ge- my head can't handle the geometry changes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's I like to avoid that shit. They yeah. hacked. They hacked the system. Like they hacked the code. It, it didn't used to work that well, but they tried. I mean, they've always had popular video games and had um, toys up from the video games, but I don't. Think but it now, was like, ever like this, like they had Toys for Starcraft when it, that was hot, right? Right. Like, right. like these GI Joe designs. There's a, there's a, not the mobile game, but there's a game coming out for PS4, Xbox, and even the the Switch. That's like a, I don't know, some person shooter. Oh, really? Have you not seen that? No. Yeah. The GI Joe there's a trailer out there. Yeah. It's, nice. And it's literally like the designs are the exact same. Like they've got that. Huh. Luke's got that blue gimmick on his strap, and like they show Zartan and a couple other characters. Um, it could be the same cat design sets that you used to well, make the That's figures. exactly right. I mean, that's no, why would you not do yeah, that? Yeah, that, that's the thing point. with computer design. That everything is the fucking same thing. You don't have to redraw a whole goddamn thing yeah. or redesign a, a, a thing every time. You just people either pull stuff directly from the 3D files to make figures out of or the other way around. Dude, computers are just so amazing. Man. <laughs> I, love, I love computers, bro. They say a computer can do my job better than I can do it. <laughs> And it's so easy now. I mean, that's why all these, like, there's a fucking million games popping up every day because anyone can fucking sit down and just make a goddamn game. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't take long. Yeah. There's pre rendered objects that you can buy packs of or, or free. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, the same thing with 3D modeling. It's, I know, you know, a year ago, I didn't know anybody that was doing 3D modeling to speak of. And now I know probably 10 people that are doing it. Yeah. yeah. It's basically picking up drawing now. Right. I mean, I, I've even screwed around just to see how it works and, you know, didn't get very far, but I know somebody that would probably be really good at it. <laughs> yeah, and I need to sit down with it. I, I do. It's, I, a, it's a free. There's one free I know, program. I know you just screw around with it. And Tyler sent me a bunch that yeah. like to, to check out and look at. I just haven't. I just haven't. I just haven't. It's, it, and it's my own. You know what it is. You know, what? I'm gonna be. Let's let's be vulnerable. It's my. It's 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 my own insecurity of like not being able to figure something out. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's, 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 it's a learning curve. It's well, intimidating. And, and I will yeah. tell you, it's a little bit like logging into your children's school last year. You have, oh, to, you have to open Zeeblezorp, <laughs> and then when you get done with that, it's got to go through. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's <laughs> some processing you have to put. Stuff but once right. you learn it, like you can do anything with it. Well, even like <laughs> using using the resin printer, you have to really run through two programs. To, yeah, to, yeah. To get it to get optimal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. that's another thing that's like. Mind blowing to me is that resin printer. <laughs> I love, <laughs> exactly. I love yeah, what this Bobby's like. What? That is uh, it's just me and Maker. I'm gonna tell you what. If this, was, if this was the 1800s, I would burn both of you at the stake. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fully. It, but think, think what about what sorcery is this? Think about how crazy that is. Even like 10 years ago, I mean, 3D printing was like these big chunky, yeah, blocky, and now it's literally like a prototype of a toy. Well, I sent I sent this video. Cody sent it to me. It's a buddy. Of uh, a, I saw it. Yeah. Holy shit! This dude's got, got like a factory, mm-hmm. and is mm-hmm. and is, and he's got like he's got fire suppression systems, like just in case. This is <laughs> it's 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 completely temperature monitored mm-hmm. and um and videoed. So like he gets alerts, like if he's at work, so he can press a button and have it all shut down and extinguishers go off and all sorts yeah. of shit. Some like, Batman shit. <laughs> yeah, like this dude is rocking. Yeah, that's that's print farms are you know actually not that uncommon, and people are making a living. 3D printing nonsense on Etsy. Yeah. Um, you just have to find the right outlet to uh, to do it. And then the thing, well, it's starting to be 3D printing in color, at least with yeah. the plastic stuff. If they can figure out how to do that with resin, that's game over. Right. Or anything else other than printing. And, and I'll tell you the, um, I got to take this. Yep, you got it. And with a little computer magic, we're right back. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, I'm doing this collaboration with My Action Figure Customs for the uh, set three of the the mythic pieces available now for pre order at crashboxcustoms.com. When does it close out? Uh, it closes out three weeks from Saturday, so I don't have. Oh, you got it. Good. They got plenty of time. <clears throat> but um, 
he's sending me these unpainted models and we're either we're selling them unpainted or we're Kelly's painting them. But the difference in the quality of like what I pull off my printer and what it's, it's amazing. Like, cause he's got like $3,000 printers and right. I've got a, also experience. I'm sure. Oh, helps. sure. Sure. Yeah. How, how is the ridges with his? Huh? Really? It's yeah. It's the, the it, that's it's, amazing. It's More a thin, ridges. it's a thin and crispy chip. There's no, I mean, even with resin printing, you can still see ridges sometimes. Oh, oh the, the, uh, the, the print layers. Yeah. yeah. You can't well, it depends, see on, depends on how, how much time I should, I should have brought one over to show you. It, cause, it's amazing. Cause the finer, you can make it to, to, there's no, no ridges if you just fucking spray paint it. But, but it's because of like, right, the, the right. layers being really thin, but like each layer takes a certain time. So if you make it a shit ton of layers and you're going now, to print it for three now, days. Keep right. in mind, like resin printing will never, if, if your resin printing looks like, you know, I'm not knocking this, this guy's work, but the filament printing, uh-huh. if it, if your resin printing looks like that, you're definitely you not shouldn't doing it right. Be, right. And you shouldn't be <clears> resin <throat> printing. Just right. Yeah, use the plastic. Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, like, that's kind of like, I think when, like, that's what I'm kind of waiting for is for it to reach a level. And, and you know, I'm not sure what I, I mean. I, I got, dude, it's there. I'm telling yeah. you. I mean, like, it's, 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 but up, also up, affordable. Up on you, it's up on you like, to, like, you know, when the $5,000 flat screen becomes the $100 flat screen. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Saturn is like a few hundred bucks. Uh, yeah. Dude, the secondary market on that right now, yeah. it's, they're going for like $1,200. Yeah. Yikes. Everything, everything, secondary market value during this COVID it, it, season. But no, it's, it's like, like, dude, how much are people paying, buying weights? Weights is just fucking, just weights. They're, they're like $15 fucking, a pound now. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Go get some kid loader, bro. Right. Go yeah. get some some freaking lift some water jugs. Some, some cement. Well, I started to see like from... the, the gym rats around here starting to get a little crazy during yeah. the quarantine. When they were like, oh, the selfies just won't be the same. <laughs> Can only do so many burpees. <laughs> ben, you got a you got home gym like me. Yeah. You should probably just open it up, um, you know, Mondays and Tuesdays. or Charge them. Yeah. It's, it's $80 an hour. <laughs> I would guarantee you that people take people, you up. People. No, you can't because like... Um, like when we go to Japan and stuff, like there there are day passes and they're expensive as the fucking people buy. Yeah, them. sure. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I I can't tell you anything I watched other than literally, you know, I had wrestling. Uh, there was uh, SummerSlam was Sunday, and then NXT did a show Saturday. AEW did a show Saturday. And it, I just wanted to mention this: WWE has done something. In the, it is the season of COVID. They've taken over the Amway Arena, which is where the uh, Orlando Magic play, mm-hmm. and they've created what they're calling the Thunderdome. Go ahead and laugh. It's funny. <laughs> it's, they basically created this whole. It, it's a dome. It, let's just pretend this room is the arena, mm-hmm. and um, they've got the ring, and they've got a full like like what they normally have on TV stage set up with pyro and a trillion LEDs, and then they've got LED boards all the way around, and you can go online and register to have your face on TV. So it's it's just people three ninety nine. I don't know how much it costs. I don't know. I mean, it's, I mean smart. It's make it out of it, Yeah. Yeah. You but know, it, it's it's more interesting to watch, although you, and they're piping in sound, which is fine. So that's well, because I, I heard them doing that with basketball. It's the same exact same concept, okay, okay. except it's kind of in the round more. Yeah. It's weird to me. I, I guess I, it makes sense because you're used to it. But like, remember, like laugh tracks and shit was normal for comedy shows, but nowadays, like laugh tracks are weird to me. Well, so like, here's my thing. I I'm with you 100. percent Here's my thing with the basketball thing in particular. I'm like, these guys have got to be talking shit to each other the entire game. I want to hear that. And now you're going to deny me the chance to hear it <laughs> yeah. now when we actually could. Yeah. The crazy thing about the NBA stuff <laughs> is they have home and away, and they they still run ads for like the local, like uh, <laughs> the the um, Oklahoma City uh, Dan's uh, washer and dryer outlet in Oklahoma City. It's got his name on the board or whatever. <laughs> I just thought it was pretty funny they're doing that. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's it's an interesting concept for them to do that. The mm-hmm. WWE, it's, it's, I guess, best case scenario. Uh, yeah. They went from being in front of nobody to having, like, basically the the trainees mm-hmm. were wearing masks behind plexiglass to now they're doing this. What's your... Um, Makes life interesting. Mm-hmm. What's your... Give me, give me your top five wants for the classified line. As a GI Joe fan. Oh gosh, uh, shipwreck. Okay, number one. How do you uh, think they'll update him? I'm kind of worried about that. Me too. Me too. Because I need him to have a shirt unbuttoned down to here <laughs> and his hat on a little crooked with a, pa- a parrot. He, if he doesn't come with a parrot, yeah, we're gonna have gonna be, to riot. That's gonna be bullshit if he doesn't come. What, with what a parrot. But he is a sailor, you know. And sailors, the uniform hasn't changed all of that. I don't much. think they wear bell bottoms anymore. Though. No, but, so I doubt he'll uh, have bell uh, bottoms. Dungarees are a little bit flared in the bottom. Yeah, I guess so. Um, shipwreck, um, gosh, I, I've been asked this so many times. Um, 
I'm really drawing a blank, which is which is hilarious. <clears throat> they didn't have a computer guy back in the day, did oh, they? Oh, they did. Mainframe. Mainframe. Mainframe was a computer guy. I always liked Dial Tone, although that backpack of his was... I, it'd be interesting to see how they updated those two yeah, characters. We don't have Dial Tones anymore. <laughs> well, right, right. <laughs> Is he a telecommunications guy? Yeah. <laughs> but he's like, but the thing, dial tone's like 65, and he's like, I don't understand these kids. He's got a switchboard, and he's over here just plugging shit in. These kids today. That would be a funny bit to talk about all of, like, to do, like, a sketch comedy thing on, like, a robot chicken mm-hmm. on all the Joes that have been made redundant through technology. <sighs> like, <Yeah. laughs> they all got kicked out. Like, <laughs> like, they took our jobs. Yeah. They all got, they all got kicked out. Um... A flint, I think, is kind of a no-brainer for at yeah. some point. Um, I'd like to see a Lady J. Yeah, I'd love to see some double, um, double el- elbows. Did you open that Baroness? Yeah. Do you like her thirty-degree elbow bend? Yeah, it's not great. It's trash. The way that armor is, but the figure looks like a million bucks. Yeah. Um, yeah. The bike, I can take it or leave, but stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. How many was that? Uh, three, three. Right, ship right, Lady J, and then you said dial tone. Oh, I want, I want um, a <laughs> mutt. Uh, mutt oh, and junkyard, and junkyard and bazooka, with all jokes. Jersey. Well, because the, there's, we're gonna get, they're gonna have to give you the cobras. You think so? Well, okay. dude, <clears throat> how do they update mind bender? <laughs> I think they just go for it. I think they just go. For it. What about crystal ball? I'll tell you what, remember my, crystal I'll tell ball? You what, mine, mine's weren't the only thing he was bending. <laughs> he was not. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, <laughs> I, I'd be interested to see. I, I I'm waiting to see how they tackle <laughs> spirit iron knife. Oh wow. yeah, Qu- uh, quick kick. Yeah, you know that man showed up with just the kung fu pants on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, like the default uniform of all the Asians back in the day. With a yeah. with a bandolier tucked in with throwing stars. Yeah, but he was actually it was he had like a little comedy shtick on the. I've been watching the. The show. And actually, Charlie will sit there and watch it with me. He won't watch much with me, but <clears throat> we'll put it on because it's on literally all the time. Yeah, I think. Uh, and, oh, the, actually, for Cobra, I'd like to see Tomax and Zaymont. Yeah, yeah. And it'd be interesting. Well, no, they couldn't do it because their their uniforms are, are reversed. Correct. Because I was going to say they could just pack an extra head in and. But I'll tell you that reverse mold is. I mean, once they have one, I bet you it's not a big deal to just. You know, in the CAD file to just oh, absolutely. That's just, that's a no brainer. You take this little blue dot and go <laughs> over yeah. here and cross this blue dot, <laughs> and then later they could give us them in suits because they were in they were in suits a oh, lot. Oh yeah, yeah. I there was some there was a weird that, that was a weird relationship those two. Well, oh, yeah, they you know felt each other's pain and finished each other's sentences, and mm-hmm. you know I wonder what uh, pocket pool was like for those guys. Yeah, they were twins, uh, but they were. I feel I've always felt like there was something between them. You know, like it was, it was uh, like step porn. I mean, that's how you think. <laughs> how not you, step though. <laughs> how you yeah. think uh, the one had the cut in his face? <clears throat> yeah, they never know. talked about it. They never talked about it. They never talked about it. So, um, but yeah, uh, Zorana is up there for me, and and her brother. That's going to be an interesting. Her brother's look in particular is going to be an interesting one to update. A lot of those dreadnoughts are going to be a little interesting to update because it was very eighties, like. It was very biker, and I yeah. think that still yeah, works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you just sons of anarchy him. Exactly. Yeah, dude. What if they did the the the, the three piece rockers on the back, like you know, like yeah, yeah, the, yeah, like the outlaw biker right. thing, dreadnoughts, Florida, they, they or whatever. Definitely should. The logo. They should. They should have biker symbols. Yeah. Like they, they got that symbol. They have a symbol, right? You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. something. Um, that would just be that would be interesting. And and I think the I mean, do the dreadnoughts work for Zartan? Is he the leader of the Dreadnoughts? That's with, how I always took he, it. Well, I, right, me too, but you think about it now, it's like, why are these biker dudes following this weirdo with his fucking... Well, well, is this they, a hood on your head? Because, is, they, because they're all worshipping the same cult. See, that's how that shit worked for me. That's why Cobra okay. Law worked for me, with shit like that. Fair. <clears throat> um, Anything else for the for the Nerd Marine Corps? Oh, yeah. Oh, go, go shoot. Um, So, we... um. Well, my my parents came up at the beginning of of June. My my dad has this very large canopy. I'm gonna say that it's can of peas. Can of peas, yeah. So we opened it and we shared the pea <laughs> canopy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's metal rods and angle pieces. Um, it's probably 20 feet long, okay. deep, and 10 feet wide. Maybe Yikes. it's big. Um, and I had to come to Jesus with myself about um, I can t- <laughs> taking over the basement. But I I can't deal with this. It's too much. So we put that together Saturday morning. 
and uh, moved all the raw material, like all the, the foam, because you can't hurt that shit. Uh-huh. It, it, it's covered anyways, but even if it gets a little wet, it doesn't matter. Right. So we put all that out there and just like all our foam scraps, and now it's all like not all over the... <laughs> Kelly didn't care for the way you could see all this <clears throat> bullshit from the road, like when you pulled the driveway. Uh, 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 uh. That's probably why she was always mad when she came home. Um, mm. But now it's kind of tucked away. It's spray paint, and uh, the last remnant of your um, your table is <laughs> is my tabletop that I spray paint on. Right. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about <clears throat> sleeping. Like Joe, how many how many covers do you have? Like when you sleep, mm-hmm. how many layers of covers? One. Do- you only have one, and if, especially in the summertime, just roll thin. Really, towel blanket. Okay, and Bobby, what about you? Uh, in the wintertime, we have a sheet. We have like a thin ass blanket mm-hmm. that sometimes we go to just the two uh-huh. for summer, and then we have our our Game of Thrones blanket. Which <laughs> okay, in the summer, aren't you hot? So here's the thing: we have the fan on high, um, and I like the weight on me. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's yeah, what that's it comes to. Yeah, 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 like yeah. I like to be nestled in. I need to feel safe, Joe. My mother, she never loved me. So, <laughs> so uh, don't laugh though. So true. in the in the summer we have we have a sheet, we have a a pretty heavy uh, woven thing, and then like a comforter on top of that. Mm-hmm. Um, That's so fucking weird. Listen, Joe, I'm just trying to make a blanket statement here. <laughs> Fuck. I'm done. <laughs> this is my last show. <laughs> they don't need me anymore. That went on a lot longer than I, but it's actually a That's, decent conversation. Yeah, I know it is. Every now, every when you get caught, you just be like, and with that, tasty tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, and even we tried. Have you tried the weighted blanket? Mm-mm. So they, they, I think it's got lead shots. It's not lead. That's like, shot. like autistic kids or something, right? <laughs> All oh, the ones that draw pictures. So, yeah. um, that's what I meant. What are you talking about? Artistic, yeah. Uh, Kelly bought some, and there is like the first night, it's like, oh, this is great. And the next night, I'm like, I can't fucking live. <laughs> so they're like piled. She got them, I don't know, somewhere super cheap. They're like twin size. I'm like, we can each have one. Okay. And we're both like, ah, I'm over it. She did have a bad headache the other day, and she's like, the pressure's so bad. Will you lay one of those blankets on my head? I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So. She, I'll tell you, like, I, um, there have been times where I've, I've, it's been like warm, and I but I've needed to fall asleep, and I'll just take blankets, like and fold them, and just lay them across my shoulder blades, and like I'll go right out. Like hmm. I, I need that weight on. Like I, it's important for my sleeping. And I, you know I'm a big uh, kick the foot out. You know kick the leg out. Oh yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I don't like my foot covered. I'm heavy on it, dude. I fucking hate yeah. it when the tuck the, <clears throat> the goddamn sheets in in the hotels. The first thing I'm gonna do is fucking rip that shit off. So, so I, 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 I prefer it in the pocket. Like your feet, I feel trapped. So I, I usually had to take out a little, I usually had to burrow out a little hole for me, so to speak, to, to get my leg out if I need to get it out. But I like how secure it keeps the sheet so it doesn't all end up on my wife's side. Well, you know, so I, I, I'm i I'm, uh, often accused of stealing the coverage. Stealing and the I will coverage. wake up occasionally and I'm like, I'm sorry. I mean, because <laughs> I can always, almost always get it before Kelly's. I'm like, let me tuck you in a little bit. Right. Uh, but I like to, I just tuck like one corner of, of like the bottom two layers underneath the mattress just so I kind of have a, a, <laughs> a resistance. I have a, uh, it's my belay point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need, uh, like, cause, cause otherwise I'm a, I'm a restless sleeper. So like, it's, it's not uncommon for like the sheet to be, the bottom of the sheet to be halfway up. The top of the sheet to be halfway down, so it's almost like a strap across the bed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fucking one layer of covers is all on Laura's side. The other layers on like, because I'm like kicking and shit. like I've, I've hit my wife in the face numerous times during the middle of the night. Like you know, like not like punched her, like, like not not like Ike Turner, but like you know, like like like, 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 like you know, like just like my, the back of my knuckles of like where my hand will fall. But like, God damn it, like you know, it's and a she hasn't zone. socked you back. No, I mean, she'll, I mean she'll get she'll get mad and curse and throw my arm back, but I'm not even sorry. Like, you know, I'm a restless sleeper. So one more thing, um, I'm at a interesting point in my collecting. Mm. You've what, been at an interesting point for a while. Well, the interesting point is there. I'm getting on in. I'm getting in more stuff than I can possibly ever look at right now, and I, I'm I feel like I'm drowning in all of this shit. And like I go downstairs, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna literally like this stuff. I'm gonna put it in a box. I'm gonna put it in storage. I'll get to it later. 
I can't even make myself get to it. It's just like I go down there and I'm paralyzed. <clears throat> it's like ominous. Like my, my G.I. Joes, you know where they are? They're thrown on a shelf just because I, I need to take the time to move some stuff around. And I go down there and I'm just... Because you're, you're not taking... Like you're... There's... From the outside looking in, mm-hmm. I could be way off. <clears throat> it, it doesn't seem like you're, you're free time, for lack of a better term, time where you're not devoted to your family or you're nine to five, mm-hmm. is being balanced, right? It's heavy on the side job so, sure you know but but i like that which is fine right but but as already yeah. right but but as a result the other thing because it's not getting the 25 to 30 percent it needs a mm-hmm. day now it that 25 to 30 percent that you're willing to give it isn't enough right you know is yeah. is, is, is what it seems I, like from I, the just, i've got to i've got to figure out you know what i'm gonna what i'm doing with my like, life a little bit <laughs> like, I, I understand your feelings i have the exact same feeling about my 40k stuff yeah and like but i i haven't been able to let it go mm-hmm. I, and i spend a lot of my free time doing that stuff but like it's i know i i know it's more than i'll ever be able to fucking get to especially right. when they keep putting out new stuff but I, I i don't know because i have before i've quit 40k like three times i've mm-hmm. sold everything and i just didn't look back and didn't care but like now i'm at this point where i i can't for whatever reason I mean, I, I guess I'm just afraid I'm gonna miss out on something and get exactly. burned. Like, like all my Star Wars six inch stuff, I it literally got raked into a box that's taped shut and it's in storage. But well, that was anger. That was anger. But at the same, <laughs> at the same time, I haven't been, I haven't been, Missing I haven't it. regretted that at right, all. Right. But I ordered the Zeb just like, well, that's the only one I need for Rebels. Right. Of course, now I have all the ones that look like they were painted by you know, uh, like as a charity auction for artistic kids. <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm like, uh, why did I buy that? Damn it! I have it. Okay, it's in the Hasbro Pulse box. I guess I'll just <clears throat> toss it in the hole with the rest of the shit. So yeah, I don't know, man. I've, I've hoarding because to me, like, uh, I'll tell you, it, I, I guess that's really what it is. Yeah. It's just I'm just afraid I'm gonna miss something. I'm at a point where the curation is as important as mm-hmm. the collecting. Yeah, and it's a it's a it's an it's a nice chain of turn of events for mm-hmm. me. Where it used to be about the acquire, 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 acquire. But now, like, my wife will come down here. Like, we'll just sit in the basement, turn the lights on for, like, a half hour and just talk, like, shoot ideas of, like, you know, what aren't we 100% happy with? Mm-hmm. What can be better? And what do we get to do? You know, right. not have to do, but get to do to, to make this better. And, like, there's one thing I want to do. I know off top, <clears throat> the top of my Star Wars shelves has just got shit. Crammed like as much shit as I can cram up there, crammed up there. You want to find out what's important and put it up there, right? Yes, and I want it to look purposeful and not like I'm trying to show you everything. And, th- and that's that's a struggle I'm having too. Is is like I mean I've got you, you guys have never been to my house since we I had had the display, but I've got all these figures displayed. I have room for some more, but I look at what I have. And there's no way I could ever display all this. Mm-mm. So it's like, do I want to keep these and rotate them out, or do I really need a Black it's, Adam figure? So much. Well, I think that's rotating out. Know? <clears throat> like that. I know it's. So, oh my gosh! Yeah, I mean, I mean that's the thing. And this thing with like all the Gundams and stuff, I have I, like I don't glue them in place, even though it'd be much better for displays like, because it's, it's articulate. I want to be able to move them, but like, sure. I never fucking do. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, do they get upset or offended when you say they speak well? What? <laughs> They're articulate, you know. I, uh, I'll tell you, like I got, like so. Look, this is a this is a racially sensitive conversation, and I understand that getting into it. But I just want to share this story because it was heartbreaking to me. Um, there was a girl that I went to school with. Her name was Stephanie, uh, a black woman now, you know, young lady when I met her, and uh, she was very sheltered. <clears throat> and we went to school together. We were friends, and like, but she didn't have any idea of music. Right, so I always have my headphones on. Like, if you ask my wife, like, what's your first memory of seeing Bobby in high school? Like, he was leaning up against the wall with his headphones on all the time. Um, so I was like, I was like, you know, do you know about this? Do you know about this? She'd be like, no, and I'm like, no. Like, let me put you on. Like, and I'm, 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 I'm showing. Like, I mean, everything from Ella Fitzgerald to James Brown to Prince to you know, I'm, I'm like going through this horde of music that dates back to whatever because she has no concept of it whatsoever. And then I saw, um, this is years ago, <clears throat> I saw her, her, she made a Facebook post that um, someone had said that she was well-spoken and that that meant that that person that told her that was a racist person. Um, 
And I just like I just because she was my friend, and I want to, uh, you know, me. I'm always like, let's 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 play the other way. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I get told that all the time. Like, it's it's probably the compliment that I hear most. Like at my job, at like you know YouTube comments or whatever. They'd be like, dude, you say you speak your mind so well, right? Um, and it has nothing to do with my, I don't think it has anything to do with my race. Now, I think that when I walk up, I don't look like I might be able to speak as well as I can. <clears throat> so that's fair, but it's not necessarily racially indignant. But dude, she fucking blew up at me. I hadn't spoken to her in years. It is Facebook, and this is, we were in high school, and I always thought very highly of her. Like, and I thought of like almost like my little sister in a way. Like, you know, um, but I mean, like, you know, just I think during the times, like, she, I mean, she called me. I mean, you would have thought I was signing up for the fucking Q and on by the time this thing was over. You know what I mean? Like, just uh, I, I was it was it was heartbreaking for me. Little little moment. But that's what it made me think of. I mean, it might be because you heard, because that wasn't the qualifier there, but maybe she heard to qualify so much. Like, you articulate for a black person. Well, I think that's, like, how that, she, that, that's how she took it. Because like, I mean, you hear that shit. Like, like ne- like if you're gonna give a person a compliment in general, just for everybody out there, like if you're gonna give a person a compliment just leave any qualifiers yeah, you think you don't need is needed yeah. don't be like like krista gets oh you're you're um in good shape for a woman or like tell me oh you're big for an asian i'm like am i big or not you know what i mean like I, I don't need a qualifier if i don't put me in a category if you don't think i am what i whatever you compliment me as as an average person then then i don't have that attribute you're looking for right no i agree with that but I, they didn't say it yeah, like, yeah i'm saying yeah, yeah, I, th- yeah. I think she might have hurt that a lot for maybe. her to blow up like that, like, like or, or maybe she's overacting. I don't know her. Well, but no, and, and or maybe it's just maybe if, and I'm not speaking for her, but like if they're like, look, like I have a blue collar job, you know, and I know I've been told by people that like, look, they're not going to expect this out of you because of your job, you know, whatever this may be. Yeah. So then, do I take that and then walk into a situation with that in my head, like this is how people think? Yeah. You know, am I taking that with me? That might that might not be real. Yeah, and it it's might true. be. And it's it's, it's just <clears throat> hard speaking from experience. Like that, you it's all it's, it's a it's like trained into you because you've experienced it a lot. And B is a self defense mechanism. Is like, well, let me already put my line here, so I'm not fucking taken aback. Yeah, I I do think that like this is just another one of those examples where there's no, there's no discussion about something. You know, it's you know, and I've been seeing it more and more like. Yeah, that that I don't like. I'm open to talk about shit. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important. I think it's the only way that we grow mm-hmm. and learn. I, I've seen people say, I've seen a lot of like, it's not up to me to explain it to you. Right. I've seen a lot of that now. Right. Where it's like, well, then who is it up to? Who is going point to point me to the right person? Yeah. <laughs> Can someone explain it to me? <clears throat> like, no, you have to, you have to, you have to hit all these qualifying notes in order to even have a conversation with me. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. All right, I'm sorry. Continue. Uh, so yeah, I was just, collecting. I wanted to talk about the Mescos in particular because I think it is important for you to have a come to Jesus moment in regard to that stuff. Is are you a Mezco collector or do you love Mezco and just want to buy the shit you want to buy from them? Right. And I think that only you know obviously only you can make that that decision. And dude, I also think I mean, and you know my opinion is not worth shit. If whatever you want to do is obviously the right choice, but for the sake of discussion, like I also think it's important. I don't know, man. Like, I mean, you've done some pretty impressive stuff. Like, I think it's important to have a little bit. I mean, I know you said that you would just rework it and want to rework it and rework it and rework it. But, like, I think there's there's something to be said for having something of yours also to help. Well, I do, actually. Yeah. Okay. I, and I was thinking about that. So, I have the Popeye doc. Okay. I have one of those. And, like, <laughs> I get the... Uh, I get the uh, uh, Island of Misfit Toys uh, <laughs> dioramas. So, like, I have a doorway that is the side of it got fucked up. So, you, you can't see it, but I wasn't going to send the work out. Um, so, I have that. And um, I, I've got one other little piece I made actually before I decided I was going to be a super entrepreneur during the pandemic. <laughs> I built that little uh, the, um, pink skull room with the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've yeah. got that. Okay. As best as I can display it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think so, that, I mean, like, it's a huge part of what you do now. Yeah. It's like, it's, I think it's important. I think you're, and I think that you're, you know, it's like, a, it's a, you're doing yourself a bit of a disservice. Not necessarily in the, in the, and this isn't a commentary on it, but not necessarily on the, on the more mass produced stuff, but mm-hmm. some of like the little, like, like that office that you did, like right. with the elevator and shit. And like, I've got one of those. It's just, it's, <clears throat> 
you know, not put together. It's right. in a pile because I just don't. It's not really meant to be permanently set up. So, you know, I don't know. It's like there's um, there's memories attached to that there's there is. you know there's there's shit there's sentimental value to sure. that stuff. I sure. feel like. But anyways, I've got to uh, have a come a come to somebody <laughs> with myself about about some of that stuff and you, think you know like, like I mean. I mean, it's not the first time you've gotten rid of a bunch of it shit. It isn't, and honestly, like my the hot toy stuff, like a Marvel hot toy stuff, I just like I look at it. I'm like, in my mind, I guess that moment has passed, you know. And and, and I guess maybe I'm an in the moment collector to a certain extent. I mean, a lot of people are like, and, if something is hot, you buy a bunch of shit, and then... right. I mean, you know, I I got in on that before the Infinity War stuff, and and I have pretty much what I want from it. But somebody's like that too. Yeah, with that specific line. <clears throat> right. Yeah, that one got me, and I, I think. Uh... I don't. I, I don't think I was cognizant of it, mm-hmm. but when I when I think back and I'm kind of doing inner reflection right. on it, you know, I wonder if I was keeping up with the Joneses in some regard. Yeah. You know, if like I was like, man, Chris got this shit. I'm gonna get this shit too. Like, you know, like I, like <clears throat> it happens, man. That one I feel. That one, and don't get me wrong. Like, I don't hate it. Which one I, specifically? Are you talking my about? Marvel Hot Toys okay. collection, okay. Like, and I don't. Re- I don't fully regret it in the sense of when I walk past it, I'm like, I shudder. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Right. But like, um. I do wonder when I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, is is this satisfying to me? Because like, I'll tell you, like when I look over at that, like when I look over at that Joker and that Harley there, and the Harley is like a statue from Louis Royo, and the Joker is the Hot Toys from Arkham. Right. I'm happy and satisfied as fuck every time I look at it. You know what I mean? And I don't have that feeling with that stuff. Right, um, <clears throat> you know, and then there's there's some stuff that I, I look at, like uh, the Rocket and Groot, like I got for a Father's Day gift, and somehow I remember that, and I think of it, and 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 there's stuff that there is attached to it, but I'm not sure if I I got caught up in the hype train. Yeah, well, at that. least with that line specifically, y'all can still get good money for it. Yeah, you know, I don't know about your Star Wars stuff in the bin, but. Uh, some of that shit you can get good money for. Yeah, yeah maybe. I, I don't. I don't know. The thing that sucks that. about that is I have to dump it all back out and say yeah, and sort through. Oh, it. let me go to you know whatever website and try to figure out what goes with what. It blew my mind. I was putting together that Force Friday video on aftermarket of Black Series and how like like a lot of that stuff. I mean, now it's going to get pinched, right? Mm-hmm. But like Ezra was going for like a hundred bucks. You know, like there was a, there was a, and there was a handful, like Ahsoka was mm-hmm. high month. Like there was a handful of them that I was like, God bless, man. Like this line is. Well, I remember, remember when, you know, Darth Maul and, and Anakin were going for $70, $80. Yeah. Before they redid them. Yeah. 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 I, I remember a time when the Darth Maul, the SH Figuarts and the Black Series were the same price. Right. Well, that's why I was one of the first uh, figure arts My, me I too. got. Me too. And I, I fully blame you because I remember us talking about it. And you're like, oh, yeah, I got to start getting this import. I didn't even know this shit existed. In- <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, off yeah. to the races. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a whole – I think there's a, there's a discussion there to be had about, like um, – I mean, I'm glad I never tried to keep up with the Joneses with you with Transformers because, I mean, I – Or anything. Fuck, look, look, well, look around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I think on the Marvel, the the Marvel and DC Hot Toys, we were neck and neck for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I mean, you had and you have you still have me on the Marvel stuff. I mm-hmm. still haven't been willing <clears throat> to pay the late tax on some of that stuff. Like I, which is, I mean, shit. If you're getting ready to sell it, uh, well, um, yeah. let me know because I, I, there, there's like I, you know, like in some of them, like man, like would I've just been happier with just a buck and a cappy, like a cap, cap and a bucky. <laughs> I did a buck and a cap. <laughs> that might be the title. <laughs> Keep it a buck. Yeah. Um. So um. So yeah. I, but I, I think there's a good conversation. Cause I, like even now, like I'm having, you know, logistics. <clears throat> you know, is, is my number one kind of priority, and making sure that everything has its place and every place has its thing, and I'm not overreaching. I'm not over mm-hmm. exhausting my resources, and because I've, with the exception of this area, I've pretty much, lock. I'm locked in. Right. Mm-hmm. You know. Joe, how was your nerd week? Um, I, like I'm not too much anymore because like I have such a, such a set schedule b- yeah. between work and then streaming. So like, <laughs> right. uh, see, thank you for making time for us today, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fucking doing anything in the morning. It's as night. It's like I'm either working or all the a lot of the evenings I'm <clears throat> st- streaming or like I still got my workouts. Fucking like workouts are like fucking three hours now because of streaming because mm-hmm. you're taking long breaks to talk to people. Um, but. 
I don't know. If, I'm sure your kids and old wife already know about this. The Fall Guys, it's a fucking fun ass new game. That's all, like all the hype now. Are what they, is it? Fall Guys. I have never heard of it. Okay, what, go, what well, kind I'm of, sure kind of Mason knows about it. It's like uh, it's a it's like an obstacle course game. You log in and there's like 40 other fucking randos that they, they, they put into an obstacle course, and there's a bunch of different is ones. It like Ninja Ninja Warrior or something, kind of. Kind of, but like what's it called? Fall Guys. F A L L. Yeah, it's like all the hotness right now. Um, but it's super fun to play. Like the you can customize your little jelly bean looking character and do a bunch of shit. And like the stage like you know, spins around and there's a bunch of stuff that tries to knock you off and and there's a bunch of rounds that are lesser and lesser and lesser people qualify until there's one guy left and then you can play as much as much as you want, I guess. I'm gonna make a note of that. Yeah, I'm sure I think <clears throat> I would enjoy it. Um so Easy. Chris that was playing that was watching a lot of that. Um got back into Street Fighter Five. Because right. one of my other friends is streaming that and got me to to play. And I forgot how much I enjoyed playing Street Fighter. But I also forgot how time intensive of it is to get good and stay good. Yeah, like, yeah, I haven't yeah, played yeah. for a couple of years and like I am trash now. Yeah, it's a fucking... I, I feel like sometimes those fighting games... I feel the same way about Mortal Kombat. Um, that like sometimes they go so overboard with the combo possibilities that it's like... In order to like be good at the game, you got to master like twelve and fourteen hit combos oh, and shit. And yeah, it's even, like, so, it, it just takes some of the fun out of it for me. Like I feel like a, a, mm-hmm. a three to five hit combo should be the limit. Yeah, I, it's, I mean it's different too because like um, the the high level competitive play, like mm-hmm. playing online ranked matches, it's not like playing a fun fighting game like Soul Calibur or <clears> or <throat> like back in the day Mortal Kombat. It's, right. it's more like playing chess. Like right, you're right, really right. playing against the mind, the, the mind of the other person. Like it's, it's not about trying to throw all the combos out. It's like some some matches are like half the matches you're just fucking jabbing each other. It's like boxing, right? And, right, and right, first, right, first right. rounds. So <clears throat> while I, it's just like um, I enjoy, you, you have to be into it to enjoy watching. I'm sure it's boring for some people at like those rounds. Just like back in the day when MMA first started and people didn't understand what. BJJ or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was and like why are those guys just fucking hugging on the ground like get up and <laughs> right, fight right. right but now like the more people know about it they can, you can see what they're yeah, doing you can see yeah. the yeah. techniques I think that and it's a lot more appreciated than it was yeah and that's one of the things I always thought about Street Fighter everybody out yeah yeah he was just dominating because no one Nobody know what who's, that the, shit is. who's your character of choice again is it Ryu it's Evil Ryu Evil Ryu of course yeah okay but uh, Ryu's my second we have that on the Switch or it's not the Switch anymore yeah, it is a Switch. That's right. Stupid Nintendo. Um and it's I think it's it's Super Street Fighter 2, but it's Yeah, we have that. But too. it's 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 like a you can play like the classic version but they got one that's like almost like a cell shaded animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an HD remix. Yeah. yeah. And Charlie does not care for my fire throwing abilities. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you do that? Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, Dude, I, when I was a kid, it's frustrating not but, be able to like, have the, uh, like. But he'll get you in the corner with that low kick and just to uh, wear you out. I always want to play those games more and get good at them. You it know? takes so much time. Yeah, yeah. it's it, like studying. It's, it's fucking it, but, work. But then it's also like for what? Because like I'm not hooked up to the internet, exactly. so it's like I'd have to wait for a friend to come over and be like, "Hey, man, do you happen to be skilled at this game as well?" Okay, let's sit down and have a match. Well, you, you know, we started playing uh, Mario Kart um, online now instead mm-hmm. of just playing. It's uh-huh. fun. It's yeah, I mean it's so competitive and you know mm-hmm. it's it's uh do you get on the mic and hear mm-hmm. people talk shit? No, they don't have and call you the n word. I don't, I don't. <laughs> yeah, why? Why? You know why is that? Why is it that like the moment that an- anonymity is brought into it, the n word just flies and, like and uh, and the misogynist? Yeah, and you hear it, 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 a chick's it's voice. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's like people have been waiting all day to <laughs> fucking say shit like that. I don't well, know why. On, on this, I've never had the urge. <laughs> no, I've never been like you know what. I wonder if I could hide myself in this basket all day just so I could pop out and scream the N word. <laughs> well, on the Switch, they don't have they don't have that, but there's like you can use your phone and something and, and to talk mm. to people. I, you I, use I have no, also. Yeah, I have no interest in doing that. Yeah. I'm just. Gonna... I stopped playing fighting games for that reason because like um, PlayStation Online used to be free, but then now it's like a subscription service. So I like that's why I stopped playing Street Fighter. But now that I'm computer gaming. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like gaming like I was in the twenty my my twenties again like a game almost every night. Now 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 I'm stuck on this fucking shit talking shit. This good, like this goes back to what I was talking about last week with mm-hmm. people talking shit and not not willing, yeah. not willing to f- write like, the check. Like I want to talk to your I want to talk to your parents. I want to talk to your parents. <laughs> and That's why I'm, I'm 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 fucking forty years old. I want to talk to your parents. And what's your parents? You know what your kids are saying on these fucking things? They're being fucking animals. 
I mean, so, somebody's <clears throat> paying the bills for you to have the, have Correct. that game and have the internet service. So like, it's not like you some fucking. I want to talk to you. I'm gonna put your mom and dad on. Put the parental lock on. Damn it. <laughs> but what, I, I don't. I don't want. Like I understand trash talking and just fucking want to make people mad because that's what trolls are. Yeah, like, no, trolls are a normal thing. People want to be trolls. But like, why but always she, go directly to race and sex? Yeah, and I'm. Uh, and here's the other thing: is there's that shit is the lowest common denominator. Like you know what I mean? It's like there's an there's an art to properly get yes. in somebody's head. Yes, you there's can, an art to it, and like uh, that's not it. No. Dude, I like I'm a I'm a big space player, right? The card game. And like the, when I when I was really good at it and I had a partner that shot the shoulders, I had a partner that I relied on all the time. Like I would be like four or five hands out from the end and I would just lick cards and put them on my forehead with the face showing. Like just, j- just to show people like you're going to lose. There's no way <laughs> that you can win. And we still have half this game left to go. So, did, you, did y'all call it co- um, COVID cards? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was before COVID. Now, you, now I couldn't lick cards anymore. But I, like, that's the shit that I used. And like that shit, where like, like you know, if somebody's like thinking about playing something. I'm like, ooh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. You know, and I don't have anything. But it's like you know, and then, but it's like that's the shit that gets people rattled. You know, it's like so stupid to just be like. And a bunch more thought of insults out there. <laughs> yeah. Than just throwing a fucking default word around. Yeah. yeah I don't get it. Fuck them. And but talking about spades, though, like I tried playing spades online once, I never again. No, because yeah, random partner. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, not only that, but also like like uh, there's like the spades is like such a house rule game, right? That like you know I just uh, some of that shit they do. I'm like, I'm like, wait, the two doesn't beat everything, but the jokers. What kind of spades game is this? It goes big joker, little joker, deuce, ace. Uh, in my world, anyway. You can yeah, probably change the settings or some shit. Yeah. Um, another game I've been playing is Don't Starve Together. I'm playing that online um, with our Twitch friends a lot. Staying up to like fucking two in the morning playing games. Like I said, like in my 20s again. It's like a kind of a survival type game. It's like top down. You have a character. You guys are all thrown into this world. And then you have to start like chopping down trees and building bases. <clears> like <throat> it gets cold at night. It gets like really cold in the winter, and you hmm. just try to fucking survive and build a community. Yeah, it's, it's good fun co-op. No trash talking. <laughs> <laughs> and for anime night Saturday, also we do that in, in group in Discord. We watched uh, Princess Mononoke. We I guess going through Ghibli films, and that's the one that that was kind of a big deal in America. Yeah, yeah it, I mean, I remember when it came out. It was yeah. like ninety six. It came out ninety seven, ninety eight. Because it had like a like a star cast yes. for the voiceover. Big star. Had, Why? How did that happen? It's like, Disney. Oh, there you go. Yeah, like Claire Danes, um, the I, guy who played Goliath. I've never been so singularly on, personified. Like I've never been so singularly satisfied in a single answer. It's just, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. But yeah, it had a fucking. I think James Woods was. In, I don't know, it yeah, was, I mean, it was, it was a big all, ass it was like cast. A list cast. Yeah, and and it's a it's a good movie. It's not. I've never seen it, but I would like to. Do you though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've yeah, I, I, I just never had access to it. it. It's just funny that Ghibli film. Like we know it as. No, they explain what you're saying right there. Ghibli. Oh, Ghibli is um, a company. It's like the, the mostly um, described as the Disney of Japan of anime. Mm-hmm. So they make known um, children's movie that are high quality Did they and well the loved. Totoro stuff. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Then I know what you're talking. I didn't realize that was the name of the studio. I didn't know if that was some slang you might say oh. on the internet. I wasn't familiar with. No, Joseph. Studio Ghibli is the name. Okay. And I guess Disney distributes them. In America, it also so sounds it like it sense. might be part of a pig that not everyone eats. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a turkey part. Either way, <laughs> I used to call my wiener Jigglypuff. <laughs> I called mine Snorlax. <laughs> uh, oh, my friend's the nickname is Spoken Snorlax. <laughs> I'm going to tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, it's also a t- tickle bug oh, oh, for you. That was when I was a little kid, and it wasn't it wasn't so much me. It was but my brothers, my little brothers, because it was a it was a word that my nanny, like my my mom's mom, had for it. The tickle bug, wild. My my grandma called it a special. My grandma, my grandma, grandma called it a special purpose. I mean, that makes more sense. Yeah, true, but it's also from the jerk. Yeah, um, but um, Studio Ghibli is like they're known for like these kids' movie, but like some of them I. They're not really kids' movies. I've seen Princess Mononoke. It's not a kids' movie. It's just pretty, years pretty, pretty serious theme and some pretty bad stuff that happens. Tragic. And just like 
Yeah, tragic and yeah. and also just like people's heads getting chopped off. You're, like, That's You're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but looking at that book by its cover, I've always thought there's probably some tragic shit that happens in this one. <laughs> <laughs> I have like yeah, and they did like Great for the Firefly, which is nothing but a movie made to make you fucking upset. Mm. And um, yeah, so yeah, if you will ever get back to anime days or movie days, mm-hmm. then yeah, that, that's some stuff I would. Yeah, on. yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And uh, um, this Saturday, I'm not sure we have. I'm sure we're, it's going to be another Ghibli movie. Your kids have some Ghibli movies. I gave them some like a few Christmases ago. Yeah, they've watched them. I'm sure uh, they could give you the rundown on them. I I, I didn't see them. But um, yeah, other than that, just catch me on stream, bros. I saw. Um, I I was looking. So <clears throat> I made this comment. We were we went to IKEA. Oh, you well, went to IKEA. And we did. Which one? College Park? No, the Baltimore County one. My, 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 it's because my wife prefers it. The one in White Marsh? Yeah. Really? She, yeah, she prefers yeah, it. That one, it seems, the same reaction. It, well, that one seems, it just seems so much smaller to me. I so, don't know if it is or not. I, I wouldn't disagree with you. Um, I prefer, so here's the thing. I prefer the College Park one. Mm-hmm. I prefer the drive yeah. to the White Marsh one. Oh, really? Yeah. I hate 495. But if you, I get, if but you love the tunnel, and I hate two seventy. No, I don't take this tunnel. I take six twenty five. Oh, okay. And um, but anyway, I, I don't know your your Jedi your, ways. I do not know your ways. You ever watch? What was that show? It was Michael Rappaport? Um, he used to come on like after the Simpsons, and he was like a father. Yeah, the, I'm, I like that show a okay, lot. Okay, so I, I watched this one episode of it. I'll never forget it. His 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 oldest son was like a nerd. Yep, and he wanted Michael Rappaport to go to a convention with him. So, I remember that. So he went Vaguely, to the con- yeah. he went to the convention, and like Michael Rappaport wanted to get a signature from this guy. There was like a celebrity there, and the guy like went to the bathroom, and there was like a long line, and everything else. So he's like, oh, I'll just sneak in the bathroom, and get this. You know what I mean? I know the vibes. So like Michael Rappaport sneaks in, he's trying to get a signature for his son, and the guy like gets upset, like. No, don't approach me in the bathroom, dude. When I'm here for a son. like, get in line with everybody else. He's like, man, I'm just here for my son. And he's like, he's like, get in line with the other people, and I like, don't address me in the bathroom. So like, other nerds start hearing it, and they like, this guy's treating you know William Crafner as an asshole. Let's get him. <laughs> and like, all they start like surrounding Michael Rappaport, and he's like, he's like, he's like, look, I just came here for something for my son. And like, his son like steps up to defend him, like in front of all, and he's like, look, he's not. Part of the culture, he's not from, and like he's like, and then my rapper's like, I do not know your ways. <laughs> there's a there's a similar <laughs> similar uh, episode of, of Modern Family. It's a game Game of Thrones ish kind of thing, mm-hmm. and one of the characters is all about it, and the other one is just like just started. But they ask a question that's like a huge spoiler from one of the books, <clears> and <throat> they all turn on him. And it's great. Uh, it's great stuff. Anyway, I watched High Score. I've been in the process of watching it. Have you guys seen this? It's on Netflix. It's like a four to six part series on the video game history. No, I have not. I need no. to. I need to watch that. I, I, it's hard, that was so hard to keep up with what's coming out. Is of it Netflix. new? It's really good. It's new. Yes, it starts with like fucking Pac Man and shit. Right? <clears throat> so it's yes, it goes oh, it goes through Pac Man. What's that? Pong. It, so it skips Pong. Um, which I found interesting. It starts. Um, it covers Pac Man. It covers some other shit. It talks about that game. I can't, Arachnid, I can't remember the name of it. It was like a little mm-hmm. bar at the bottom that shot the yep. balls up at the top. And yep. uh, Space Invaders, it's like a big, big one it covers early on. But what was, uh, there's a number of things. I mean, it's, it's great. So far, it's I'll great. Check it out. Um, but one of the things that I found most interesting What'd about you say it. What it's called? High Score? High Score. Taking all sorts of notes today. Th- one of the things I found most interesting about it was um, the Pac Man really came from pizza. Did hmm. you know that? No. So the, the video game designer, the uh, Japanese fella, he's sitting down having a pizza and they took one slice like the first person took a slice out of it and he was like stop that's it and that's where Pac-Man comes from that's fucking great when things like that happen really yeah I think it happens a lot yeah yeah Yeah, it seems like it um and then they kind of talk about like you know where it went and the sequels and like it's it's, it's Miss Pac-Man yeah well they don't cover that so much but like they call it like Pac-Man 2 and like Pac-Man 2 actually caused some shit and Pac-Man actually caused some shit in the states and um like anyway doesn't matter it's a good documentary Uh, I want to watch the one thing that was fascinating about it was, you'll never believe who tried to sue somebody. Everybody sitting down. Mm-hmm. Universal. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, they attempted to sue Nintendo, or they did sue Nintendo America for Donkey Kong, saying that it was a ripoff of King Kong. Okay. I mean, I can yeah. see that. I can see that. It's a giant monkey. That throw- oh, gorilla, yeah. gorilla, yeah, gorilla. Yeah. Um, it's a giant gorilla. There's a princess, you know, a woman in peril, uh, but everything else is pretty much independent, right? Yeah. So, uh, Nintendo hired a lawyer, and the lawyer like went through and he found like all of these 
things that were in pop culture that associate Kong with a gorilla now. And it was like barbershops and fucking, I mean, everything, Mm -hmm. right? And um, anyway, they beat the case. So they they didn't have to pay a fucking nickel to Universal. (laughs) Fucking anything that takes a nickel from that company, I will fucking celebrate. Um, But what was great about it was this lawsuit would have sank Nintendo. It would have been the end of it. We would have never gotten anything else. It couldn't. Dude, the world would be so fucking different. I can't even imagine. It couldn't sustain the injury. Right. The guy, the lawyer who fought was John Kirby, and Nintendo celebrated him by making the Kirby video game afterward. No shit. That is awesome. That's awesome. And the dude's face kind of looks like Kirby. A round puffy thing that sucks thing in, and well, they don't. I don't know so much about the sucking, but <laughs> but the, the the round puffy thing, and even the eyes kind really? of look like Kirby. That is fucking cool. Yeah, and he was like, and he was like, and then the, they they interviewed the lawyer, and he was like, he was like, yeah, there's there's an awful lot of likeness there. I'm thinking about filing a lawsuit, <laughs> but he's like, it got a good sport about it. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Like, <clears throat> um, that's fucking cool. I need to watch that shit. Yeah. So, so it, did you finish watching the whole thing? I haven't. I, I'm I'm two or three episodes in. Okay, but it's good because I wanted your opinion to see if it's one of those things. Well, it could have been like one episode. Episode. No, so so far I'm enjoying every second. Uh, so like, is it every episode is like a different theme, like kind of like toys that made us? Yes. So episode three is the beginning of role playing games. So mm. like the first one is kind of like the Space Invaders, the basic shit. The second one is kind of the rise of Nintendo, and then the third one, Final Fantasy. And the third one, I'm guessing they'll get into Final Fantasy. But they talk about this woman that kind of started it, uh, an American woman, and like she sat down with this sheet of paper that's like probably as from where I'm sitting to that wall, probably 15, 20 feet. And she just started writing notes, like just kind of almost like free association, like princess, dragon, and like making all of these things connect and built this world out on this huge piece of paper. It's like a nerd, beautiful mind. Yeah. I mean, it's fucking, it's it's like, it's, it's fucking fascinating. Um, But like, I think that they talk about Dungeons and Dragons on Mm -hmm. it. Uh, and like uh, they have this guy on there that's like some sort of like well known dungeon master. He's a dungeon master. You probably heard of him, Matt Mercer, maybe. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah. Um, but he's I, I, like I can't tell because it almost has a vibe about it that's similar to the toys that made us. Mm-hmm. Not as goofy, but it's in the pocket. And like I can't tell sometimes if they're um, if they're being real or they're being if it's a joke or if it's not a joke. But this dungeon master has like been an astronaut. He's been like all. He's been to space. He's done all of these things. Like he's obviously like legit. I don't know. So he has got a fucking astronaut suit. But I'm not sure if they're saying like he's. You know what I mean? I'm just not sure if it's tongue in cheek. Oh, well, a space cadet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a, a t- fucking pinball game on Windows. And with mm-hmm. that, Flappy Labius. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like it's it's it, anyway it's it's a good it's yeah, a good I'll, series I'll and I've been enjoying Sounds it. Fucking great. And then there's something else on there that I saw that I wanted to watch too, but now I can't remember it. Yeah, see Netflix, not so bad sometimes. Yeah, well, so that's the thing is that like that, like I've been consistent with that every now and then. Like, but like, here's the thing: if I I've, I've never had one shooting course ever in my life, but if you give me a fucking machine gun. And you sit me at the opposite end of the target, and I and I have unlimited ammunition. I'm gonna hit it sometime. At some point, one of my bullets is gonna hit the bullseye. If a million monkeys type on a million typewriters for a million years, one of them will type the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I uh, I love I, I that's how I feel about Netflix. Is they they just throw everything they have at the world, and every now and then something lands. That's somebody something for everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. I, I was listening. To sh- shout out some of these new podcasts that my pop up. The, the nerds have spoken. Um. This Dunkel one with is uh the shade corner. The shade. I, I tried to listen to that, but the audio I couldn't hear it. Oh, was it the first episode? Yeah, the first and second episode. I could okay, not so, hear it. Okay, so I could I could hear them both, uh, but the second one was definitely better than the first audio wise. It doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there. The, um. Shout out to them. So I was, but I'm listening to it. I don't. I don't really know Dunkel. I know he's been at the house. He's hung out and. I like him. Seems mm-hmm. cool, dude. Um, but like, I'm listening to him. I'm like, man, like this dude's like, because him and his wife are basically arguing about what's good, mm-hmm. you know, the, the entire thing. And one of the conversations they had was, who's on your your? It's like that meme going around that who's on your villains Mount Saint Rushmore. 
Okay. Mount Saint Rushmore. I'm not sure not that's right. right. Yeah, Mount that's, Rushmore. Yeah, no, Mount Rushmore. Rushmore <laughs> Mount Saint Helens. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, what if they were combined? And, and, Dude, I'm gonna and say the face something. got blown off. Every, <laughs> you want to hear something weird? Ever since the COVID shit, I haven't been sharp. I've noticed it, uh, and I've talked to my wife about it, and she said the same thing. Like, uh, like not about me. Calm down. But like about her. That like, like, it, like I've been little, fucking words up. I've been like little weird shit. Like, um, has it gotten better, or you find that this? I find this consistent. Like, I don't feel like it's getting better or worse, but like little shit. Like, I'll, I'll like I'll put. Dude, the, you need to play some Sudoku or something, man. Get that. Yeah. Get that crispy. And back. It, it could be my age, also, of course. But like, I feel like you know, like I'm, uh, like I'm, I'm making a cup of coffee, and then like I put creamer in it, and I put my coffee cup in the fridge, and I go downstairs with my creamer. Mm. Like you know, like weirdo shit. Silly Bobby. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, stuff yeah. like that where I'm like, man, I don't feel sharp. Um, Tying back into that, but like anyway, I'm listening and I'm like, I'm like, dude, man, like, God, this dude like some trash shit. Like, I, like I'm listening, you know, like, because like, like, like he's and like, and like his wife likes some good shit, you know, and like, and like he's like, he's like, no, 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 it's like she likes like the Saw movies, which I think are really good, and then he's like, he's like, no, you need to watch Man Bite Dog or some shit, <laughs> and I, and I, and, I, and I'm like, he's like, it's a French film, and I'm like, wow, God, fuck me, and then I'm like, oh my God, he watches my shit, I'm trash shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Dunkle. <laughs> no, sorry, Dunkle knows I love him. Um, all right, uh, and I think I think that's about it. I think that's about it for my Norway. You know, it hasn't been that long. Um, I feel like I watched the yeah, movie it was Thursday. Oh, I, watched, I watched Spider Man Two, Spider Man Homecoming Two, Spider Man uh, Far From Home, Far From Home, Home. Yeah, okay. Night, uh, Night Monkey. I would say I would say uh, yeah, Night Monkey. I would I would say I liked it more the second time. Not that I hated it the first time. I thought it was fine. I liked it. If it if it was a seven when I first saw it, which I think is what I gave it, I would probably give it a seven point five. You know, um, like I, 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 I watched it. A I need a letter times. grade. I, I watched it a couple times. And something C plus. Something people often say about that film, and and really just thinking at it about it abstractly is it's it may be the most frightening Marvel movie because of all yeah. the, the 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 AR. I mean, that was yeah. that, very good. Yeah. Well, that, the horror element of that was like shit. That got me disoriented. Yeah. It made Mysterio. Frightening, like, scary, like, yeah, like that's, a, what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, was, like oh holy God, shit, this like, could happen to any of us because yeah. he's always seemed so fucking goofy in the mm -hmm. comics. And it's like, no, this would be terrifying mm -hmm. to really lose your your grip on reality, you know, and kind of you know. And I did love in that movie, and I don't know if we ever talked about it, but I loved how like they had all these bit players from the uh, that had yes, been well, wronged by the start. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that was a cool start. That's a cool tie-in. Yeah, oh, I thought that was clever. The legacy of Iron Man being handed down to him in a number of ways is it, it hit better for me the second time. You know, I don't know if I was coming. Did that movie come out after? It came out after. I don't know if I was still yeah, hurt. Right I, I might. I might have still been hurt. I think you were. I might have needed. I think, I think you were. I might have needed time for healing, but it, yeah. it it felt better. It felt better this time around. Um, then we got some notes. Do you? Hey, shout out to uh, motherfucking movie trailers. When's the last time we had a new movie trailer? <laughs> That's true, man. It's and we we got some good ones. Uh, well, uh, we'll see how we feel about them, I guess. But um, couple couple weird things. Uh, Netflix, the exiting Airbenders. Hmm. Okay, so the creators of Airbender, uh, the last Avatar, the last Airbender, yeah, the cartoon or the movie, <clears throat> the not Sh Shyamalan, the the, the, the actual the cartoon original of, the, okay. of the original have series, been involved with the Netflix series and have exited. Um, Netflix, okay. So they but said Netflix is still making the series. Correct. They said many of you have been asking me for updates about the Avatar live action series. I can finally tell you that I'm no longer involved with the project. In June of this year, after two years of development, Brian and I made the difficult decision to leave production. Mm. Um, though Netflix said it was committed to honoring our vision for this retelling and, to su and in supporting us on creating the series, unfortunately, <clears throat> things did not go as we hoped. Is this a live action series yeah. they're doing? It doesn't yes. bode well because like, uh, I, 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 I don't know because that doesn't look I, live I think, action to me. I mean, that, that could be CG. I, mean, correct, I, I correct. think it's supposed to be live action. Okay. Yes, already, the caution already exists. I don't think they're fucking rebooting it. That's, that's, that's a good point. And if they were, I'm sure it would land. It, it's odd to me that, that I don't know, because Nickelodeon's got a nickel in that, I'm sure. <laughs> and with that, 
Happy <laughs> um, because I mean, it's their property. Even if you like right. buy their the Diamond Select toys, has Nickelodeon, just like the Ninja Turtle stuff. Also, says. so he said, "Look, things happen. Productions are challenging. Unforeseen events arise. Plans have to change. And when those things have happened at other points during my career, I try to be like an air nomad and adapt. Mm-hmm. I do my best to go with the flow, no matter what obstacles put in my way. But even an air nomad knows when it's time to cut their losses and move on." I mean, like the first, like that movie. Yeah. So it doesn't sound. It doesn't bode well because, like, what correct. makes because the original creator made the original series great, so they know what they're fucking talking about because it's their correct. their fucking creation. And are these are these are these not anime? No, this is American. No, this is American I don't know why cartoon. I always thought it, it was on, because it's anime, came on Nickelodeon. It's got yeah. anime styling to it. I think that's probably it's like why. Insp- anime inspired yeah. kind of art, but it's yeah American. I mean, maybe whoever's running the show over there is a passionate fan of the franchise, and and I mean that's. I don't know. <clears throat> Who knows? It could have been financial, to, yeah, and not creative. It doesn't say. I mean, I'm still, I'm still going to give it a shot because I really like the original series. Oh, line. absolutely, yeah, yeah. I, I, so, and I've never seen the original series. I might wait for you to watch it, and then if you say, I think the, you'll, the live action. Yeah, one? if okay. you say it's worth watching, then I'll try to give it a shot. Yeah, I tried to start the series. The, I just couldn't get into it. I mean, it's like really literally good. the first episode. I don't know. I just, Adam loves it. I know. I, I, the animation just is not what I want to watch. Uh, right now, I mean, it, it's it's okay, but it's not. That's I don't know. maybe that's, you get used to it because like, I mean, I'm, it takes I'm time watch, to adapt to a new like styling of anything. I'm watching GI Joe cartoons, and Lord knows those aren't fucking right. masterpieces. Like, uh, yeah, the story of Avatar. Even if you don't like the art, I, I do like the art style. But yeah. even if you don't like the art style, the story. Is, I mean, and I have the voice yeah. acting and the writing is just fucking crisp. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I watched it all the way through as it was coming on. There's oh, a, okay. So you've yeah, seen I've it. seen okay. it. Okay. I just started again. And it's just like I don't know. I just want to. I didn't want to commit the time. To There's it. a conversation to be had there. Whoever is out there, that's an average listener that keeps tabs of all the conversations we're supposed to have at some <laughs> point <laughs> about what what series, if any, for Joe, if any. Uh, was the animation so off-putting that you couldn't give it a chance? You know? It's right. Because like, I feel like I have stumbled upon that. Like, I mean, that's definitely that. I just <clears> can't <throat> think of it yeah. off my head because you fucking quit it. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I mean, like... Um, I, and then, like, there's some that I've powered through. Like, uh, like I think that, for instance, I think the Voltron series is so... The animation is so off-putting to me that I have a hard time... Like, the original or the new no, one? No, 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 the new one. Because of how, like, it's huh. like... Yeah, I, I don't think I'm into that. Like that, like how whatever that is, Siege is the same way, um, Earthrise, whatever it is that just came out, where it's like it doesn't quite look like CGI, you know, animation. Uh, the blend, the blend of CG and hand drawn. Correct. Okay. I See that? I mean, I, I think Clone Wars. I put animation wise. So that, but that's all CGI. That's not. That's not the blend. Well, I don't see where you're seeing hand drawn in this new <clears throat> Transformers series. That shit. It doesn't look like Clone Wars. Like it, it, just like the uh, the Voltron one. Like it's it's. It's something in between, and I don't know what to call it, but like, maybe it's just cheap. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's too. It's... Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice yes, we're back. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hi. It, well, for Voltron, it's, it's not. You what? Okay. Can 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 we finish our little show? Um, I just want to see you guys. Oh, <laughs> all right. I'd like to see you too. She can't. She don't know what to do. Yeah, with she herself. just got back. She, she went to Wegmans. Nice. Um, goodbye, guys. All right. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Baby. Bye. Yeah, we'll be upstairs soon. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Wait, you guys are here." That Coronavirus. Her her shoes reminded me of something horrible happened in high school. They have she had, she the light, light, up light up shoes. There was this um this girl. This is very cruel. Mm. I didn't say it. Someone else did. She was very, very big girl in, in mm. high school. She had light up shoes had just been and they came out. And she, I don't know if she, what happened, but she fell in the hallway. She fell and like it was passed out. And someone Pass said, out. "Oh, her lights and her shoes go out." And she couldn't see where she was going. Uh. <laughs> Alabama in the nineties. <clears throat> Alabama now, maybe, um, maybe. <laughs> Um, it's it's not um, that there's two different um, talking about animation. There's there's two different. There there is 3D animated, but like cel shaded or colored to look like hand drawn animation, like Knights of Sidonia on Netflix for those of you guys. But Voltron is not that. Voltron is a hybrid. There's some shows where like it's hand drawn um, for a lot of it, 
but there's certain parts they use 3D, like they use 3D for the robot fights because it's easier and better that way. But the characters are <clears> hand drawn. Yeah, so I think the 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 3D part, the 3D part of Voltron mm-hmm. looks similar to the 3D part, which is I think all of it for Transformers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but none of that looks like Clone Wars to me. I think I think the thing that I I get is. Or up. is well, I mean, it's, it's, that's, a, that's a that's an aesthetic creature. issue. That's, 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 Shrek. that's, that's Star- but it doesn't a even, but it issue. doesn't even look like the same medium to me. Okay, well, just what I what I see between this latest Transformers is it Siege? Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. And and Clone Wars, it's the whatever technique they're using to color with, because mm-hmm. you know you can see like the brush strokes in Clone Wars where they've colored. Things and that's just the style. It's on purpose. Yeah, it's, on yeah, pur- it's purposeful. Yeah. And it, I, I saw the same thing in the Transformers series. And that's, I guess, what I'm taking away is, is yeah, there's something about the way they fucking move, man. I, 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 well, Transformers, the Transformers don't move right because they're fucking. Well, that too. But even the, even, in, even in Voltron, I feel like when the lions move, hips, it's a program. I, th- I think part of it is because, um, <clears throat> because. It looks better animated in 3D as robots because they're fucking robots, so they have a definitive shape. But realistically, they don't move the way you want them to, so it looks clunky. Like when you draw Maybe. Voltron, right? You can draw the the thigh as a swoop, even though in real life you know correct. it's straight. Correct, correct, correct. So, and same with Transformers. If you stole in the frames of transformation, that's not a proper transformation. Correct. It could never so, work. So that's that's probably what you're catching and it's throwing you off. It's Maybe. Too real. But not, but not smooth enough. To, yeah, well, and yet not real enough. Exactly. They're, they've rendered a CG model to move instead of drawing it, yeah. drawing the movement. Right? And, they, and they're or making animated. sure like things don't clip. Like if their legs don't bend more than fucking 90 degrees, they're not going to do that on the show. Right. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. That's why the runs look funny sometimes. It's, like, all, it's all in the <laughs> hips. They're swinging them hips. Um, yeah, like, imagine Dinobots running. Like look at, look at the Dinobot. Look at the fucking feet. Yeah. They can't even walk right because they don't have proper feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. stumps. It, that's why I always thought of the the one of the old spawn designs with the fucking club foot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm like, yeah. that's dumb. Yeah, it is dumb. I remember when <laughs> but that, that's those feet. I remember when that suit went into service. I was like, dumb. That whole look is dumb. Yeah. Um, it just spikes. Uh, let's see what else. They have. replaced uh, pouches with spikes in the '90s. Uh, yes, that's true. The Injustice League. So I don't know if you caught anything about this, but there's an investigation now being launched by Warner Brothers into the Justice League production when Jose took over. Hmm. Um, so Fisher, who was the Ray Fisher, who was um, Cy- Cyborg, Cyborg, he said uh, at the time when the filming was wrapping and everything, Jose is a great guy, and Zach picked a good person to come in and clean it up and finish and all that shit. And then later on Twitter, he said, "I forcefully retract all of that shit." Right. So. The, the word, and this is according to Variety, I believe, um, a source told Variety that the investigation is not limited to Whedon and Joe Sprouse, but it, the integrity in the investigation, Warner Brother Media is preserved, but it won't fucking, what is this? It's not limited to Whedon, Joe Sperberg, and that in order to preserve the integrity of the investigation, Warner Media won't conduct it in the public sphere. Um, what are they investigating? I th- so I think... So Ray Fisher said, I I believe this investigation will show that Jeff Johns, which is unfortunate to hear, Joe Sweden, John Berg, and others grossly abused their power during the uncertainty of AT&T's merger with Time Warner. So I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means. They describe Joe's behavior as gross, abusive, unprofessional, and completely unacceptable, and even said that Jeff Johns had made thinly veiled threats to his career. So like I don't know where all this like I don't know where all this is coming from and I don't know how much of it is like like cuz like there's uh this is a, this is a tough conversation to have in these times gentlemen um but there have been directors throughout time that have been known to be borderline abusive to get performances out of actors mm-hmm. and you know, a lot of those actors have come forward <clears throat> years later and been like, yeah, like it was one of the hardest days of my career. Like I wanted to quit acting. I wanted to quit all of it. But looking back on it. Look at all these awards. It's it's the best performance I've ever had. And I can tell that he was just trying to bring that out of me and all of this stuff. And it's like. Well, I mean, look. What's, you know, what's you know the right many, and wrong one? Do you this? know how many people won awards and thanked Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> right. I'm just saying, yeah, Stein. Right. Get it? I don't. Stein is fine. Steen Steen is mean. Is mean. 
I mean, a lot of this shit is fucking hindsight, right? Like, you you can go, you can look back and then reinterpret shit however you want, depending on how well you did. It, so if if this movie did fucking well, right, 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 the, 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 there'll be no fucking retraction, there'll be no fucking investigation, there would, because it was yeah, received. Be a Snyder cut, yeah. either. So like, it, people didn't like it. Now they're like, well, looking for reasons why people it, didn't. And I have a like question. It. I would imagine the the young man who plays um, Cyborg. It's a whole lot of sitting there like this, probably, because he's all CGI <clears throat> except his face. Yeah, he's... The couple scenes when he's got a hoodie on, right? Yeah, he's mo-capped. Uh, he's got a mo cap suit and all that I, shit. I don't mm-hmm. know. But my, my thing is is that, like, you know, it, there there is... <clears throat> if he was being, like, a dick just to be a dick, then, I mean, I don't know what goes against the rules of just your, your meanie pants. You know, if you're, like, I don't know... Like, you know, what's the level? Are you being just a meanie pants... Or are you harassing people? And what is the you know? I, I mean, I, I, I mean, the rule of there thumb, is a line. There right? is a line, but like I think, I I think it's farther than, I don't know. It's hard to define because you, sh- for me, period, you, you just shouldn't be abusive in the workplace. You shouldn't verbally abuse people, even if they're doing a bad job. You 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 reprimand them in a professional way, or you fire them because they don't they're not doing the job. But you don't fucking shit on them. What about boot camp? That's not that's not a job. At that point, you you just signed your life away to the government. That's, yeah, that's not that's that's you, you don't even get to quit. But you don't you can't quit yeah, the military. That's, that's, that's a whole right. different story. That's not okay. That's okay. not the same. What, what about uh, police academies, fire academies? But on, on the, they are all. Well, I don't I don't know about those because I know military is a different fucking thing. Uh, and I'll say this: I don't because <clears throat> both me. of both of those you sign up for, both of those you can quit, mm-hmm. both of those they berate you mm-hmm. just to put you in stressful circumstances and make right. sure that you can react in stressful right. circumstances. And do we want the people in those positions that haven't gone through that that right. are going to melt the first time? So somebody... would you say those are different circumstances and a job? Def- I would I would say they're different, but I would say, but it, to me, it comes down to the same base thing: is that does the ends justify the means? And, and it's different because that's a training process, not. Not a work process. And let me I make, think and, that's different. And yeah. let me make this perfectly clear. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that I'm co-signing whatever happened yeah, yeah. on this shit. No, we, said we, don't don't know, we, know. we don't even know what happened. But I do know that there have been, like, the exorcist, the, the guy who did Polanski, which I is I he did the exorcist? I think so. But he, he's got a separate ball of issues that came with him. Um, there's also Kubrick. All those characters have been known to use sort of non-conventional means to get performances out of actors that have later gone down as being kind of like appreciated. Like sometimes I'm like, man, like I don't know. I don't yeah. know what the right and wrong yeah, is. And, I don't. And it, and it might, it, and it, like I said, nothing to do with this circumstance. Cause I don't know the details of this circumstance, but like, I don't know what the, what the, what the objective was. And sometimes I do feel like the ends can justify the means for the sake of art. Right. You know, and that gets tricky. Yeah. And 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 it's tricky because we don't know what exactly was said. Correct. Or done. Correct. And and if and if it was like, and if, ma- if it was, and if it was one used condoms, <clears throat> how is that? Well, yeah, that asshole. Like, but but, but like if, if if it was it's this art, if it was Ray Fisher saying like, man, I don't know about this. This Joe's like, like I will fucking end your career. Like, okay, well that's different. You're not looking for a performance. You're just being harassed. You're just having a right. fucking tone. You know, yeah. um, that's different. But if it was like, you know, if if he's supposed to be because like in this. Snyder cut, which we're going to get to at some point. It looks like his father dies right in front of him, and if he did something right before that to get that no mm-hmm. performance, then I'm like, oh, I, I kind of have more leeway there, right? You know? and, and it could have been, you know, and this is not not to excuse anything, but the studio may have said, "Look, you have 21 days and X amount of money to do this, right? right. Make it work, right?" He could have been under some stress as well. But I want to say there was some sketchy shit that went down with him in Marvel too, Jose, when he left Marvel. Well, but I can't. I can't. So I'd imagine something happened. Yeah, it was after Avengers two, I believe. Um, but that could have been performance based. Also, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's going to be going on. Uh, also, end of an era. This was kind of sad to me for some reason. But uh, DC Direct is shutting down. Did you see this? Yes. So like, uh, seems like this is like week old news we're covering today. It could. It could be because we did. We did turtles. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, but like. I don't know, man. Like all that shit up there, that entire top row mm-hmm. is DC Direct. Uh, those bikes are DC Direct. Um, I have a lot of DC Direct stuff because, like, they make a good point in the article that, like, DC Direct took some just here. Like, this is a term. This is a word that should be right there for me. Mm. Um, and it's not. But that, that's the type of shit I've been talking about. But the, they took some chances. On on shit that normal companies wouldn't take, 
like you know on DC designs and um you know like like motorcycle tattooed Harley Car- Quinns, Harley yeah. Quinns and you know with hyenas sitting in the sidecar and shit that like you know like when they came out wasn't you know it was like they looked like the comic or they fucking looked like the movie and that was the end of that but now it's not like that now yeah we got XM and correct I won but you can make the argument that they actually they talk started about it. The, 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 yeah. yeah they they yeah. kind of push the boundaries on that kind of stuff even black and white stuff and oh yeah you know like. So I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm sad to see it go. Their their figures were shit, um, <laughs> but the, the sculpts were good. You know, it was just well, I mean, it was a build that, issue. They did that, uh, you know, pretty well beloved damn Batman the animated series line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think figure wise, yeah, they weren't great, but they covered all the bases. Yeah, like, it, they're they were very thorough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's just a, a bum. Hate, hate hate to see it. Hate to see it. Um, and now we can kind of get into the bulk of this DC stuff. Some stuff we can kind of fly through. Some stuff we're going to take a little bit more time. So one is Gotham Knights. Did you guys look at this at all? Yes. I watched the trailer for that. So this is done by the same crew that did Arkham. It looks like it. And it's uh, Batman has died. They get uh, like the Nightwing, Jason Todd, Red Hood, I guess, Mm -hmm. um, Robin, and Batgirl get a video that say like, look, if you're getting this video, I'm dead. The city's on you. Good luck. You know, here's all my gadgets and info. And, and he says something, and basically he said, he blew, I blew up the Bat Cave, but I've got all my stuff at XYZ. <laughs> and then he's like, it's not state of the art. So it's going to, I guarantee yeah. you, part of the, part of the story is going to be, uh, hook this computer to this and this, this, and get this MacGuffin. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And but, I also think, just first impressions, he's not dead because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, it was so specific. But, but like, <clears throat> the ending of it was retirement cool. plan. Agreed. So let me I, I, so let me say this about this. I think it looks fucking great. Mm-hmm. I'm down to get it, down to play it. Love to play it. Love to buy it. Love to see it. That being said, I would like to see video games get a little bit away. Like, uh, you know, there was a rumor that the these people were going to do a Superman game, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and a Justice yeah. League game, yeah. and all. Like, I would have liked to have seen something a, a bit outside of the realm of Gotham. <laughs> Um, right. just because we've we've had it so many yeah, times, like fucking Inside Out. Yeah, and it's always fun, but it's like I would have just I don't more, know. It becomes more of the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm I'm definitely and definitely excited. I think, but my excitement's like an eight out of ten. Whereas if it was like Justice League and you get to play as the Lantern and Superman, and then I'd be like ten out of ten. Can't right. wait. You know, um, it's probably because he's, he's the easiest um ones to make. Yeah, and he's the well, and you know the the problem it's with the Superman su- is the threat. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, you know, because like what makes Superman interesting is that he's not willing to uh, neutralize the threat. You know, it's part of his moral character. Yeah, but his moral character is not the same as Joe Citizens who's sitting down with a sixty dollar game to beat. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) And now you've got Superman terrorizing the fucking city. (laughs) Um. Anyway, uh, the next one is uh. Going against the JLA, some would say is suicide. Mm-hmm. Um, suicide Squad video game with them. I thought it was great. Yeah, it looks the fucking great. Was great. Looks fucking great. And like, it looks like tons of characters. Like that, I'm more excited about than the other one. Yeah. Only because it's something different. Different, new. Yeah. yeah. You've already played the other one. Too. Correct. And the idea of playing, I, the idea of playing a game as Captain Boomerang, as Captain Boomerang, <laughs> um, or Polka Dot, maybe. Um, but um, in knowing that the boss, like, as you faced Koopa, and you faced Ganon, but knowing that your final boss is Superman, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. is wild. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but like you know, it's interesting at least. And it's it's funny how that like that Harley is you know vaguely looking like Margot yeah. Robbie, yeah, but, but not and. But she's got the super squeaky voice like the cartoons. So well, she's definitely... It's a good blend of all the versions. That was the exact word I was going to use was like, they are doing a good job with that character mm-hmm. in regard to the different... Like Arkham, the animated series, Margot Robbie, they've all had a huge impact on who that character is. And I think that the creators have really pulled... Like, she might be the best example 
of something across media platforms that's m- just mushed together so beautifully. Right. And it's, it's, it's cohesive. It's not like this Correct. is a jarring difference between this version and that version. Correct. And it's always it's always her, regardless of what she's wearing, how tall the fucking boots are or how short the shorts are. It's always undeniably her. Right. And, you know, the character always comes through. It, it speaks to the credit of it, I think. I normally don't watch video game trailers, but those both look interesting, and I, I was glad I did. The, the 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 animation, I mean, obviously gameplay is going to be different than that stuff, but yeah, it's just it's you just have to look, look twice at it. To yeah, see it's not real. Because <laughs> some of it, I mean, some of it is like, especially like the special effects shots. Like I'm like, this looks just like any other movie I'd fucking go see. Um, before we get into the kind of the trailer talk, um, and movie talk. What did you think of this event in general, this fandom? Honestly, I watched the trailers. I knew it was happening, and it seemed like they didn't give they give you like two days heads up that it was happening. I don't or did know. I totally miss the boat on? I it? don't know because Phil was on it, and Phil yeah. had let us know prior. But I, I can't remember exactly when I mean, they have announced it. I guess this was their SDCC. Yeah, I mean, and, and I give people credit for not trying to lump everything into one yeah. league. There's no reason spread it out and give us something to yeah. look forward to. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Like, and, and, you know, and if everybody, you know, especially during these times, like, I mean, it was a little bit more user friendly. Like, I didn't have to fly to San Diego. You know <laughs> right, what I mean? Like, right. but like, and I could tune in when I wanted to tune in and, you know, go see the dealer room when I wanted to. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think this is going to really change the structure of cons going forward. I agree. Uh, but I think it was, I, I think it's good on them. I wish Marvel would do it. I wish Star Wars would do it. Like, yeah. these little, like, I mean, Hasbro's kind of been doing it all year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've um, done it. I mean, I. Good, bad, or otherwise with Hasbro. Correct. Um, they've done, it appears to be a fair job. I agree. On the majority of stuff, but um, Cobra Island notwithstanding, letting people know what's happening where and when. Yeah, and and keeping fan engagement and excitement. I will tell you that the comments on their live streams, uh, no matter what it is, are just them getting raked over the coals about G.I. Joe. Yeah, that's like anything NECA does <laughs> the, now. The power, yeah. The power, like the Power Rangers panel, they did all the comments were, I, and I, I actually typed, "I'm just here to read the 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 shit talking about G.I. Joe." So speaking of which, uh, Shoki was telling me you did his podcast, mm-hmm. which I did listen to, by the way. Um, he was telling me that they did a uh, he he was talking to somebody that works at Target mm-hmm. in uh, in the area that he's from, and he were, he was having a conversation about the the NECA rep. Yeah. He told me that in their town, this guy was coming there, pretending to be the NECA as rep. the NECA rep, and was going to like Walmart and Target, like throughout the whole state. Mm-hmm. And eventually, like they got, they caught on to it, and then they fucking like caught him and prosecuted him. Like, well, was he stealing stuff or was uh, he just buying it? I don't. That I want. I don't know. Because I've heard stories of people like I walked into Target, there was a guy who said he was a NECA rep. He had four of whatever in his arm, mm. and uh, I asked him if I could get one, and he begrudgingly handed me one. And I watched him check out the other three, and and then and yeah. then they're selling them on eBay. Oh, absolutely. You know, and like the, the the thing is, in my mind, I always imagine like it's like like you got like a little like Cracker Box badge, mm. and you're like, yeah, I'm, with the NECA, I'm the NECA rep. For, and you like stick it back on your belt real quick. You just show like uh, when, when when Eddie Murphy would flap open his wallet real quick during. He's like, yeah, I'm with the Cub Scouts of America. We're here with the subject like. <laughs> Um. <clears throat> anyways, I think that yeah. But I, overall, though, I think it was a cool thing. I think it was a good fan give back thing. It was a lot of information. It was readily available. It was accessible. There, there wasn't room for confusion. You didn't have to worry about variety carrying this and this. It was all from the source directly yeah. to the fan. Like I think it's a good idea. I liked it that when I did want to watch all the trailers, they were all there in one place. I didn't have yep. to go on YouTube and Hunt them uh, down. there's 30 people that have uploaded this, and <laughs> one of them is a reaction video to a reaction video of and one of them's a got Bobby Skullface reacting see, to the how trailers. Do those, how do those motherfuckers get ads in their shit? Because they don't play the audio. Some of them do though. Oh uh, well, I don't know. Maybe they don't. Um. Anyway, uh, all right, so I have this here. This could be the key to DC. So Ben Affleck is returning for the Flash movie. The Flash movie is on. It's going to happen. Ben Affleck is returning as Batman for it. And then they showed concept art for it with a Batman that looked an awful lot like Michael Keaton. And then they said that Michael Keaton is returning for Batman for this movie. Oh, wow. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I don't usually care about this stuff, but... Yeah. 
I, I mean, listen, that's cool, but until I can see Kilmer squeeze his fat ass in a bat suit, <clears throat> right. oh my god, <clears throat> right? Or and, I mean, George Clooney, but and it's going to be based around Flashpoint. Sure. Well, so what other story? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right, right. And, and that you're exactly right. Key to DC. Yep. They're going to have to. That's the reset button that mm-hmm. it needs. And then you you fix Batman. You fix you know whatever whatever you fix Leto. You know like all of this all of these things that have gone off the rails with or without you know your involvement. You get to fix. But you only get this trick once every ten years or so. That's a <laughs> so you got to be smart. That's a big paintbrush to wield. I hope whoever is doing this. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they're gonna be prodding them in the right direction. Hopefully, uh, not to the point where they want to. <clears throat> I wish that. Uh, I wish that they would bring Snyder back on. Like I, I think that that dude. In watching these movies again recently with the family, like that dude had a. A vision, a vision, a, and, a, and, a, and a cohesive, thought out, planned vision. Like he was taking that shit somewhere. Do you do you ever wonder what kind of animosity there is against him based on nothing he did, but this fan backlash to get this out? I I can't help like, you know I. So let me say this: generally speaking, if you wear a suit to work, I don't like you. Like you know what I mean? Like like. If I see you and you're going to work and you're wearing a suit, I'm like, oh, you fucking, you know, and, and you got to prove to me beyond that that you're like worth a fuck. Right? That's fair. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so like, and I, I'm 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 being silly, but like, that's how I feel specifically though about this Warner Brothers situation. Is it's people in suits that don't know shit about the culture, that don't know shit about the content, that don't know shit about the universe, that don't know shit about the characters. All they know is that people made memes out of Martha and they're fucking angry with. Zack Snyder is, is, yeah. is, you know what I mean? And like, I, I, I sometimes I think like this internet scuttlebutt is so easy to buy into, but it represents such a small portion of the population. Like the, um, you know, I mean the, the, the BVS film, the, um, uh, justice league, justice league, um, Fuck, f- f- well, uh, fucking um, permission to come aboard. <laughs> the Last Jedi. You know, like if you paid attention to memes, mm-hmm. Last Jedi is a terrible film, and many people in our age bracket do not care for it. Right. However, if you look at the box office sales, not a bad movie. Right. You know what I mean? If you look at the re- the critics' reviews, not a bad movie. Mm-hmm. But like you have to you have to be able to rise above that as an executive branch and believe in the creators. But that's all. That's what it always comes down to me is the fucking creative people. Like, let the creators create and let the executives executive, you know? But, like, I don't want the creators working on the executives, and I don't want the executives creating the shit. Right. Because then you get bullshit and soulless shit and um, et cetera. So I, I, I don't know. But um, what I do know is that this Flashpoint thing is their, it's their ace in the hole. Yeah, because I mean, we thought that you know from the Correct. beginning that like they, that could always Correct. be used at some point. <laughs> but but there's only so many aces and so many holes. Yes. No, you know, so you, you really got to get it right now. Everybody gets one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and it's you know to be fair, it's kind of quick to to play it. But like that tone, the tone of those movies changes after Justice League, and it becomes something else. And it's it's not bad. Like I don't think Aquaman is bad. I don't think Shazam is bad. Um, I forgot all about Shazam. But they're not the same as those first three. No, those first three have a there's a there's a there's a, obviously one guy behind them. You know, like it, it comes through clear as day. <clears throat> so I don't know. Um, let's see here. Uh, just when you thought, but but just when you thought things were looking up, and this is just more of a joke for me. Uh, they did that little Shazam bit, or not Shazam, but Black Adam mm-hmm. um, with the Rock. Uh, Great. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, I have mixed feelings about this because it's The Rock, and I don't think he can act worth a fuck. But this will be his opportunity to prove me wrong because I'll actually see some of his work outside of uh, Fall Knockout Guys or Knock Around Guys or whatever that shit was, um, where he jumped in the bushes where he's like a cop. Oh, the other guys. Other guys. Um, so I don't think if – so it's a cheesy trailer, but I guess they had to show something. Uh, and they give you a little, and he's not like a well-known character, so they give you a little bit of information about him, which, which I think is which was very it, well done. I yeah, thought for what it was one hundred percent. It brings everybody up to a baseline. I feel like which which is cool. Uh, but I thought the costume design looked cool, and I thought he looked the part one hundred percent. 
Um, so now it's up to whether or not he can deliver it. One raised eyebrow, and I'm walking out of the fucking. Oh, you're getting at least. One. You're, I mean, the, I, I think you get one. Come on now, you get one of him as a CGI'd as a child. He's gonna throw the old people's know. eyebrow. Yeah, I for the people. You're get it. I um, I don't, I don't, I don't hate, but so. I went through a, a, an array of emotions because I was riding the DC hype train, right? I'm feeling everything they're they're doing here. I'm like, yeah, good, good on DC, good on DC. And I'm like, fuck this motherfuckers in my universe, <laughs> um, you know. And then I'm like, ah, he's gonna fuck it up. And then I'm like, ah, it doesn't look bad. He kind of looks like Black Adam. Mm-hmm. Do I have to buy the hot toy of this? Oh, oh I don't because he's technically a villain. <laughs> And that's the array of emotion I went through with, Dude, with, with watching one six rock on your fucking shelf, man. Come on, now. <laughs> is there a is Hot Toys doing a Shazam? I don't know. We got with that the, one teaser with the light up chest, they yeah. Did. And then we never. Heard I don't think it's happening. No, nah, it doesn't look like it. I'll put it with the Valerian figures yep. that aren't ever coming out. And uh, Bays, yeah. Womp womp. Yeah. Um, by the way, sidebar. This is like the whatever anniversary of Hot Toys. And they oh, said they well yeah because they were gonna re-release and update some stuff. Oh, that's right, that's right. And what have we what have we gotten like that Luke Two Face and Two Two Face? Did we get a no, Luke? No, Two Face was last year, wasn't it? Maybe. Yeah, wasn't there? A, didn't they redo one of the deluxe Lukes or whatever? They're supposed to do the Bespin. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. They haven't, but they, I haven't got a pre-order. Yeah, for I, them. I don't know. That's COVID thing. They just totally fucked it all up. Yeah. So, uh, and then that they put out that Luke and the Snow Speeder. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm getting that. No. No, I think I would get the X-wing pilot, but like, like I was like, man, do I want another Luke? Like looking like like I was like, you know what? I don't want it. Congratulations. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for you that yeah. you come to that realization. I, mean, I don't think want this. You've got all the Luke Skywalker that anyone could yeah, possibly, I got, the beginning and the end. Yeah, and I have like, and, I, and then I have the Jedi Knight one out there, I have the Endor one, I have the, that one, and I would get the Bespin one. Yeah. But like, I don't think if, I don't know if I need a pilot Luke. I don't know if, like, if that Luke is as iconic to me as those Lukes. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what I care about. And, it's, and, and I don't need to, I don't, you know what I don't need to do, Joe? I don't need to buy them all. I don't need to collect them all. They're, They're not, not Pokemon. Pokemon. Jinx. <clears throat> um, um, we're going to set up a bet on how long it's going to take before he buys one. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> all right. Because uh, you, know, you know how I feel about it? I feel the same way I feel about that Boba Fett. Hmm. When I was thinking about buying that Boba Where? Fett. And I, and I, and I knew I, I didn't need it. And I knew I didn't necessarily want it. And now I have it, and I don't necessarily give a fuck about it. Um, but that might change after Mandalorian Season 2. I could be like, oh, I'm glad I have it. He's super cool now and doesn't just fall around into holes. Um, so uh, so here uh, is another thing. We're just going to throw more people at it. Did you guys see the cast list for Suicide Squad 2? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, well, speak yes, and, and I'm glad you brought this up mm-hmm. because, Bobby, I know you're a DC fan. Love him. Who the fuck are all these people? So let me be honest with you. I don't know. I mean, John Cena's in the movie. Yeah. He's the peacekeeper. So... The Suicide Squad are always these like rotating cast of morons, yeah, right? Yeah. There's this one character that looks like another character to me, but I'm going to preserve judgment and I'm not going to put it out there until I until I I've really settled in on my opinion there. But I'll say this, I think the reason why there's like 30 some members is because like 25 of them are going to die. Like yeah, yeah, immediately in hilarious ways. Or at like different points throughout the movie, like somebody like, you know, like you're part of the team and we go on our first mission at the opening action sequence and we lose two and we hire two more and one of those gets killed. Oh, like the movie Deep Blue Sea. Maybe. <laughs> With uh Samuel Jackson, <clears throat> right? And LL Cool J. Yeah. Deepest bluest. His hat is like a shark's fin. Um, but like I I think that would be cool. Is if like throughout the movie characters are just dying like all the time. Like where you just, have to call in a new, another one. And, yeah, and I mean uh, like in, in well, either, they killed that one guy, that the rope guy. So that's so not that, not seeing the, slip not, not so like yeah, so whatever. so that's what I'm thinking is like what if the the same way that he was kind of randomly taken out the, the gag runs the, like that the, the whole movie. movie and like it could be some of it could be silly like somebody gets hit by a bus walking across the street right like, it doesn't always you know what I mean like ah oh, fuck replace him with another one and you just had this like rotate that to me would be cool it's like uh that pool two yes the, the X Force yeah yeah X Force and um which you call is in it uh, I mean uh, James Gunn the, the Guardians people mm-hmm. you know he's doing it right so like he has like a goofy sense of humor mm-hmm. I think I it's s- gonna be a fun romp for sure <laughs> yeah you're probably right hopefully we'll be able to go see movies by then <clears throat> yeah or put that shit out there you go 
Um, and then next is Wonder Woman 84 second trailer, which I don't think there's a whole lot to talk about, except I still can't tell, and I'm sure the internet has solved this problem, and I just haven't looked. Did they go full Cheetah? It's close. It seems like it. But, I, I but, can't it, but tell. it's almost like um, uh, starring the cast of Cats. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, got a little bit I, of that. I, I, I didn't like the, the trailer, did not sell the movie to me at all. I, I can't tell if it's a cat suit or if she's an actual cheetah. I, I, I think that by the end of it, she has somehow had a metamorphosis into some sort of hybrid. I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm into this. I mean, I'm feeling it. I, I, I'm feeling this one more than I was feeling the first trailer. I'm the opposite. Really? I like the kind of retro <clears> vibe <throat> they gave the, the trailer. I don't know. I mean, it just didn't speak to me. Yeah. It really didn't. Uh, I'm not saying the other one. I was doing cartwheels about going and seeing it. but Yeah. I saw this, uh, speaking of Wonder Woman, I think it was Iron Studios. Mm-hmm. Um, the promotion code is Bob Scully. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one day. No, yeah. But the, um, with, the, with the little girl. Yeah, like that yeah. one. Tenth, that was a really cool fucking it's cool looking set. Statue. It's like Wonder Woman, and she's like facing one way, and then... Um, as a child. Look, one's in a boat looking this way, the other one's looking the other way. The guy's like, what do you want from me? But um, like one of them was looking one way, the little kid is like back to back and like, mm-hmm. you know, looking the other way. Mm-hmm. And it's like, so it's a nicely done little one ten scale. Yeah, artsy little little set. I'll never forget, I, it always brings me, like there was um, Marvel. I can't remember if it was Diamond Select that did it, but they did these like statues and they were all like the Marvel characters' origins. So like <clears throat> there was like a, a giant like a one tenth scale Spider Man, and then he was like in black and white or whatever. And then the one eighteenth scale underneath was like Peter getting bit by a spider, mm. you know. And it was like these little origin statues. And I think one was in color, like the 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 origin was in color, and then the adult version was in black and white or vice versa. And um, you know, Toy Fair used to put those little blurbs mm-hmm. over. Also, one of them was a Daredevil, and Daredevil was like standing up, and then like the kid was like on his like knees, like <laughs> crying right. with like the spilt, you know, chemicals, chemicals all. And, and the little bubble was coming out of Daredevil's head. And said, "Now clean it up." <laughs> awful, <sighs> awful, awful, awful. <laughs> um. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, I, I I dug the Wonder Woman thing well enough. I, I'll say I'm not super excited about it. I think Maxwell Lord is an interesting character. That I think he's going to be a villain too. And I think I'm just interested to see how far they're willing to go with Cheetah because that's a pretty big nut to swallow, so to speak. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. So, all right. So now the the kind of the the steak and lobster of this thing, as it were, Justice League Snyder cut. So let me say all of this information that I know about it, and then we'll get into it. <clears throat> it's going to be four hours long. Le- sp- legit? Mm-hmm. Split up into four episodes on HBO Max released weekly. Uh, it is everything in there is shot by Zack Snyder. Mm-hmm. He was asked specifically if the Superman line to Batman, let me ask you a question, do you bleed? will be in there because that was done by Joe's. Mm-hmm. And he said no, because it's silly. Um wait, I thought that was in So Batman asked him in BVS. That's right. So, yes, 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 <clears throat> yes, yes. yes. No. Um so uh the one thing I had to I have to watch because I'm guessing all of that is Joe's, but it's a line I really like is when Batman said the world needed you and Superman says, but does it need you? Because with Superman around it does beg that question, right? Sure. Um Anyway, uh, everything is shot by by Zach. What it seems like is Zach shot the entire movie, Mm -hmm. but never put a movie together. So when Jose walked on to be replaced, he basically had five billion hours worth of footage, and you know enough for a four hour film, and was like, "No, we're just gonna redo this shit," and took took leeway, yeah, a ton of it. but it seems like there was never a Snyder cut. That's where the confusion lied. He had shot the movie. He had never cut it. And none of the post-production work had been done, is what it seems like. So, it'll be curious. I'm, I'm, uh, that's, I think, all the information I have on it. Um, and now we can say how we... And let me also say this. This is the second time, Zach. This is the second time we've seen a montage with Hallelujah. And I don't know how I feel about it. Makes me think of Shrek. 
<clears throat> Dude, I said that last <laughs> night. I said, yeah. I actually, it's too iconic now. I just watched Shrek the other day, too. So they use it during The Watchmen mm-hmm. when uh, Night Owl mm-hmm. and her were having sex. And like when he came, it was like... <laughs> um, Good times. Yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> oh, there's been some trash ones. Um, but uh, so how do we feel about it? Um, I hope he didn't give away the farm in that trailer. I'll just say that. Mm-hmm. Hopefully there's there's more. And honestly, like those bad guy characters, I don't know who they are. Well, Dark Side. Yeah, it looks silly. He looks as always with his dumb head. Well, I think he. I think it would. I think they would have done better with Dark Side had they put the armor on him. Yeah. Um, but one thing I do know about Zack Snyder, without a shadow of a doubt, now is he likes big, bulky, gray dudes. Right. Just like Storm Collectibles. Just like Storm Collectibles. <laughs> he likes a big, bulky, gray Doomsday. He likes a big, bulky, gray Dark Side. He likes a big, bulky, gray Steppenwolf. He likes a big, bulky, like he likes big, maybe bulky, maybe gray it's dudes. cheap to render in gray. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Um, Steppenwolf looks different. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, we you won't have any of the mustache. You a few questions, <laughs> you know. So you won't have to worry about any of that. Um, there's no reshoots. Is there going to be that scene in the in the? Uh, <laughs> Correct. Is there going to be that scene in the um, cornfield where he's got the big booty? Remember that? Oh yeah, it's the Donald so Duck booty. It's like he says it's a Donald <laughs> Trump stance. Really, that's how Donald yeah, Trump. They're leaning forward. Yeah, like a fucking turkey. Um, what else do we know? Oh, it looks like Flash is moving through time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I want to say this, but I'm, I'm going to say this for the for the for the end of this discussion. But uh, I'm trying to think about other little. Oh, it looks like a lot of the because we've heard that this movie was supposed to be. It was called Justice League, but it was basically the cyborg movie. Okay, it looks like it is the cyborg movie. You're, there's cyborg. The the football stuff is back in it. There's that scene with him grabbing all of the missiles and mm-hmm. edit, you know, and then uh, him screaming to kind of save his father and can't save his father. So it looks like he is kind of the heart and soul of that movie again. Um, and it looks like oh, cyborg is digging up a grave. I'm guessing that's Clark's grave because they it was him and Flash doing it in Justice League the movie, but that always seemed very Josie with their fucking goofy was it Rosencrantz and Guildenstern kind of fucking rapport <laughs> and um, right, they're back and forth yeah and uh and then also always beg the question of well, why didn't Flash just <laughs> 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 you know not, not like make would make a lot more sense um. There's uh, Thanos. I mean, not Thanos. There you go. The, the original Thanos. Dark Side is Same. in it. Yeah. And then um, that other guy, I can't remember his name, but he's a, definitely a guy that hangs around Dark Side, that like little weaselly guy. He's got like the hood on and shit, and he like turns towards the camera. I can't remember his name. Um, but this is what I wanted, wanted to say about it. It if, and maybe I'm maybe I'm off. It looks like a completely different fucking movie to me. I I'll agree. Yeah, you get the black suit. Yeah, yeah, the black suit Superman. Yeah. Yep, yep, no mullet, but black suit Superman is in there. So I haven't seen CGM the movie, movie. Uh-huh. the original movie, and it still looks like a different movie to me. <laughs> right. Because the trailers are completely fucking different. Yeah, like all of the... Cause the, the like the mood is fucking different. Yes, that's it. And like all of the like red sky CGI worms, Bugs and, yeah, like I don't see any of that I didn't shit. I not see any of that either. Random things to blow up that aren't humans basically. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm. I'm really hoping that this is good. This lands correctly. Yeah. I mean, could it be any worse? So no, I don't think okay. so. Okay. Because mean, because I think that immediately once you take out the slapstick of mm-hmm. Joe Sweden, and having just watched it the other day, um, you know, there were still parts when I was watching it, I was like, man, this is really good. Like this nugget <laughs> yeah, of it is really yeah. good. Um, it's like eating, um, it's like eating cookie dough ice cream, but the ice cream's, um, like piss flavored <laughs> and then you get the cookie dough is good. Cookie dough or is there's, good or there's, there's not enough cookie dough. Well, that's also probably would cover up the piss taste a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just so we're clear, it's, it's coffee, asparagus and uh, corn pops piss flavored. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the trifecta of nightmares. Um, and then there's the, uh, yeah, it just seems like. Like so, like the I haven't even seen it. I keep looking at you. Like, um, there's this like little round of hot potato that's played in in the original Justice League on on Themyscira with the Amazonians in a mother box with Steppenwolf trying to hunt it down, mm-hmm. and it's phenomenal. 
Okay. And I've always said like this. Fe- it's like I can smell Zach on this shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and it's in the trailer. So it's a little bit like, yeah, I knew it. Yeah. I knew that. Was you know you. what you're like. Yeah, I, yeah, you know what's I, good. exactly. Yeah. I know what I like, and I know I like you doing this. even without someone telling you what it is. Correct. Yeah, correct. Um, so I've got high hopes. I'm hoping that it turns out all right. <clears throat> well, it's gonna be better regardless. So yeah, I'm, yeah it can't I'm, be worse. I'm, yeah, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. And then how do how do they handle it going forward? Do you think? How do you think DC Warner Brothers Entertainment handles it going forward? Well, I, I guess it also depends on how well this does. I, I assume I, I'm assuming this is gonna do very well. I hope so. So, I mean, ultimately, you want them to bring Zach into I would love that. To, and control. But, I mean, what do they say? What do they say? What does Warner Brothers say? Which, wh- oh, I, we so, fucked up. <laughs> no, I, I'm a kid, and I say, at, I'm at a convention, and Warner Brothers executive is up there, and I'm like, which one is the real one? Uh, they were going to say this is the real one. You think so? For sure. You think? But do you think there'll be a definitive statement? Like, this is, you know, like, this is now canon. Or do you think they flashpoint it? I was going to say, it's going to be a flashpoint anyway. It doesn't matter. What if Flash comes in and goes, boop. Yeah. Just touches it. I mean, that could be it. He moves a butterfly and then everything changes. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense and it sets up for the next film. Yep. And you get to see Flash save somebody. Yep. And they say Aquaman 2 is definitely coming and definitely has a horror vibe. Yes. (laughs) Cannot (laughs) wait for more underwater shenanigans. Um, well, I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, what's her name will play Mara and she's all embroiled in, in this <clears throat> jo- beating Johnny Depp's oh, ass. Oh yeah, bit. that's a good question. Yeah, um, yeah, she's in trouble, right? Mm, it's a stinky, stinky deal they're doing. So then, uh, the the last DC fan. We don't need to talk about this last thing. <laughs> Just gloss it over. What is it? The Batman. Oh, did you watch it, Joe? I watched it. You did. Fine. Whatever. What did you think? I think I'm Batman out. Um, the first two times I watched it, I thought I really liked it. I watched it on my computer. This morning, I watched it on my TV. And I'm not, uh, I don't know. There's some elements about, and it's just nitpicking. Like, mm-hmm. I don't like the cape on his suit, the way it comes into the chest plate. Okay. I just think it looks goofy. That's how they did for that kid in Gotham, that very last shot. I okay. Like, oh, I don't like that. Um, it's not the, the first time it's been done, though. Like, the cape no, going into no. the chest. Thing. Right, but it's very it comes. It comes very. Yeah, yeah, yeah keen. I don't know. It's like almost like a plume <laughs> <laughs> of cape. Like um, Thor. Thor has that fucking plume. Right. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, I, it looks like there's going to be some interesting interpersonal dynamics. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, with the, with the Gordon situation. Yep. Um, who exactly is, is Colin Farrell playing in this movie? Penguin, I think. God, he looks not like Colin. I mean, I, I, I had to squint. And it's like, is that? And I read something like, yeah, it's Colin Farrell. Um, it looks like the Riddler's playing a bigger role. The, than I, I mean, the Riddler seems to be the main villain. Yeah. But what we have to keep in mind is this is what they'd shot before shutdown. Mm. That uh, Half this shit may not even be in there. <clears throat> right. This could have just been, <laughs> right. here's what we got. And if yeah. Pattinson didn't work out at all during quarantine, I mean, we might have uh, Val Kilmer in a fat suit. Or, I, I or, don't or, think so. or Ben Affleck in a Justice League reshoot. <laughs> Either way. Um, um but I, I there were I like the car. I know a lot of people have been a very muscle car. Yeah, kinda. I like it, and I guess that he's he's built this himself. It's yeah, not it's fine. he got from whatever. Um, who's do we know who's playing? It? Is Alfred in it visibly? He's got to be in it. I don't know if I, I saw him, him in it. it. Who do you know who's playing him? Yeah, at least uh, I don't know. No. Michael it, Caine. It, it, no, it's not. Michael it may Caine. have been announced. An older gentleman. Yeah, <laughs> <A> seasoned. <laughs> Hopefully British. <laughs> Speaking of it, total sidebar. There was a show about Alfred. That came on some yes. channel yeah, I yeah. never oh, heard yeah. of. Like it's before that, when no, he was young. Yeah, right? and I've and he's never a heard agent. a word about. It. Yeah, I saw the yeah. trailer I'm, and that was. I've it. never heard anybody say it's great. It's trash. I didn't even know it was out. Is it out? Well, it was on some obscure network I never even heard of. That's probably yeah. only on Dish Network or something <laughs> weird like that. Um, it's true. I, look, I, I'm excited for a Batman movie. I don't care um, who's playing him. I have no ill will against uh, glitter glitter vampire. Yeah. Um, but. I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. If it's and if 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 Flashpoint puts this in a different yeah. pocket, then then that's fine. I mean, look, how many versions of Batman have we had in the comics in the past ten right. years? Right. right. No, I'm I'm with it. I, like in the I past think three years, even it seems like they it it seems like. And mm-hmm. now this is a huge press event for them, so it's right. supposed to seem like sure. Mm-hmm. But it seems like. They've got their shit together. Mm-hmm. It seems like, yeah, like, hey, listen, we're gonna fire all these people. We're not gonna sell toys anymore. Here's the mo- here's, yep. here's, here's, yep. here's what we're gonna spend our money on. Yep. 
I mean, that's uh, what it looks like. So I'm interested to see. It will be very interesting to watch this trailer and then the trailer for the final product and see if they have anything to do with it. Yeah, and this is almost more of a teaser, which is kind of what I want to comment on. And it ties back to the Snyder Cut also. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. I'm trying to think about who I think is the goofiest motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> Let's put Donald Trump with Joe Biden riding piggyback. Okay? <laughs> Sniff, just, smelling his hair? Just a twofer. A twofer, a twofer of goofiness. Um, if you shoot that scene and you put it in slow motion, and you drop something that's in the way over top of it, I'm going to say it's hard. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, that's very fair. Yeah. I'm just going to put that I can, out there. I can, I'm picturing it right now. With the right lighting and some filters. You can't, like, that's, and it's also with Hallelujah. Like, there's certain records that, like, when you, do you remember when something was, there was a military movie where they dropped something in the way over top of it? It was, like, during, um, it was, like, an Iraq war, like, the original one, like, part one. <laughs> Episode one. That's a storm. The fan. The fan. Knock down. No, 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 no. Um, it was like uh, it was, that dude Leto. Leto might have been not Leto. The other dude that looks like him. I think the dude that played Mysterio. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Hall? Jughead. Jughead. Jar- Jarhead. Jarhead. Yeah, Jarhead. It was Marine, right? So like he he's over there, and I think it was around the time that somebody finds or gets sent a videotape of their wife getting railed. By, Wait, like, are, are you talking about the Hurt Locker? No. With Jeremy. No, 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 no. It's no, not that no, one. No, no, no. It's Jarhead. I get all those kind of mixed yeah. up. So yeah. So it was um one of the buddies, that, like they're deployed over there. They're at war, but you know, that war was kind of like more anxiety producing than anything else, right? Just a lot of like, when is it gonna happen? When is it gonna happen? When is it gonna happen? So a lot of those guys came back pretty fucked up actually, but um not physically. Yeah. Um but I guess the wife found out something about him while he was over there and then mailed him a VHS tape. They put the VHS tape in, like the whole crew is like watching it and it's her getting railed by some other dude. And she's like, yeah, motherfucker, fuck you. I know about such and such. Like, you know, just, and, and then like there's like a montage sequence and something's in the way, plays over it, and it's fucking great. You know, even though you're supposed to be like, oh man, it's a bummer and, you know, war sucks and all this stuff. I'm still like, man, turn this shit up. <laughs> God damn, this dude was singing this. Yeah, fish don't have any feelings. <laughs> we should eat more. Yeah. <laughs> you know? um, but yeah, I, just, there's something about that shit that, like, and Hallelujah is the same way. Like, you just put that shit over top of anything, it always, it's it's ranch. Shrek. It's, it, it makes, now it makes it Shrek, though. It's ranch. It's, it's fucking tomato sauce. It's like, it, it's always, it tastes good on everything. It's peanut butter. It just you put it on something. It tastes like oh, I, I never liked celery. Now it tastes great because I like, got peanut butter on. It's it. like fucking cheating. Wait, what? It's cheating. Like, yes, 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 just, yes, yes. You want, I was like, just I was throw like, the shit in and make it good. I was like, cheating shouldn't feel good, Joe. It's supposed to be shameful. And you're supposed to be. It depends <laughs> on which end you were on. <laughs> um, and then the last note, a little bit of Star Wars news. Uh, supposedly, a Kylo Ren spinoff is rumored to be in development at Lucasfilm. Um. Early, mm-hmm. it's early, early, early in development. I don't need that in my life. It'll be centered on Ben Solo's story before he became Kylo Ren, a prequel to The Force Awakens, if you will. I'm up for that. I'm up for that. He's my favorite character that I feel like was really, really, really mishandled in those movies, or in one movie in particular. And I would, um, I would like to, and, and I think that 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 whatever happened at that school is still kind of a mystery. Sure, because it's a two different point of views. Like- yeah, and and then what happened with the student? He took a handful of students with them. Like they, like Luke and, says that in episode yeah, seven. And where did they go? Yeah, where did they go? I mean, and what's that? What's a handful? Six? I mean, uh, I always assumed that was the Knights. <laughs> I think of it's five. You got, I did too. You but got five fingers. But I, but I think in the comics it's not. So like, that's what I'm saying. I would just, I, would, I that's just one of those stones I'm willing to unturn, uh, overturn, or what is it? It's no stone unturned. Yeah, I'm willing to unturn that stone. Um, and then we did get one question. That's the one I sent you. Yes, sir. Uh, which is from. Uh, do you want to take a stab at that, Ibuka? Oh, that's good, Ibuka. Um, he'll be like, "No, idiot!" I'll be like, "God, I suck at everything." Um, great episode. I have one main question, then two rapid fires. But firstly, to Bobby and Joe, remember in Rebels, Kanan and Hera had that kid, so there is some cross species compatibility oh, yeah. in Star Wars. That's true. Somebody else pointed out to me that did the clone in the Twilight have kids? Yeah, they yes, did. yes, yes, they did. Um. So that sucks. So, well, but you can't just go shooting the club up when it comes to Twi'leks. Well, <laughs> may, and, but maybe it's. I mean, you don't see a, 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 a Jabba with a human. I mean, maybe it's. Yeah, there might be some. Maybe rules. it's might be bi- some, biped specific. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, it's like it's even a little bit more leniency. You maybe. Know? Um, so uh, he says. I can't uh, imagine a fucking Jabba human hybrid though. It's gonna be a slug with fucking arms and legs or what? 
Well, he's already got arms. Oh yeah. It, the the slug tail is just like a tail now. Like on it, on but it's still slimy, <laughs> like a T Rex. <laughs> yeah, that's how it, and, and, that's how and, it keeps its balance and has hair. It has the short arms. <laughs> yeah. so. Oh, but the hair's patchy. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like a mane that goes halfway down its back, <laughs> and, and but unhealthy at the front. <laughs> oh, when you fan art, really, um, really dry scalp. My question is: Has there ever been a time where collecting has gotten you into some hot water in terms of your relationships or paying bills or anything of that nature? And then he has two rapid fires. I will say no nope. because uh, those comes first. I, well, I I have a separate revenue stream just for my collecting. So and I, will, I have for years. <clears throat> I will say yes, um, but that is why I have a separate revenue stream for collecting. Um, when I bought those eye gear seekers, which why I'll never get rid of them <laughs> to the day I die. I'll never get rid I mean, of them. They look are those them up there? Yeah, they look great. Yeah, 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 from, yeah. From here, yeah, and they did well with sitting next to MP11. Like sure. they they did fine. Um, I've been watching them on eBay. They were going for around a thousand bucks for I all s- six of them or three for of three. Them. Jesus, I saw I saw a set go up for six hundred, and I bought it now. And then my wife and I had to sit down. We had to talk. We had, like I was asked to sit down. Oh boy, and we had to. We was had it to on? A, was it at least on a Saturday? It, it may have been. <laughs> Let's just say that's where that came from. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But we had we had a talk, a long talk, and but then we came up with a solution to the problem. Which was and got fixed. Yeah, it was overtime. You know that was how I, I did it for years. It was overtime. Um, yeah, no, bills, bills always come first. Like I, I don't. <laughs> I mean, there's that, I've definitely times when I feel like I spend more than I should. Mm. Like where I have to be like, well, I guess I've fucking not eaten right for a week or whatever. You know, back right. be, back before I made decent money. Right, it never got as far as hurting me. Right. <clears throat> um, and then he says he has two rapid fires. Um. Oh, uh, these are not uh, rapid fires. Ibuka has to have a, a A or a B. So, um, what are your? But I guess quick thoughts. What are your thoughts on rise of TMNT? I'm not sure. I'm not even uh, sure I don't if I know what that, that is. I, I think it's the current offering on Nickelodeon. Yeah, I haven't. I, I, is it the three? No, the three one is a few years back. Yeah, I don't. I think it's the I one where they're all. Around. They all look completely different. Like one of them's a lot bigger than the other. Oh, they look almost like the movie, the Bay movie ones. I feel like kind and, yeah. of, yeah. Like don't they don't have a bul- bulbous face at all? Let me look at a let me look at a picture of it real quick. I, I did vibe. enjoy the that, that turtles for a bit, the three D one. Oh yeah, I, I heard did. that was good. Yeah, I didn't like sat and watch the whole thing because I hardly ever do that. But like the, of the few episodes I watched, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I've heard that was good. I've heard that was good from multiple people. Rise of TMNT. Yeah, I can tell you right now by looking at it. Let me see. That's just not for me. Oh, that's the one I'm talking oh, that's, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but Raf has definitely the kind of the Bayverse version. Yeah, he's the Donnie has the Bayverse goggles, mm-hmm. um, which I don't hate in the live action. But um, I mean, that's super cartoony. I'm assuming that's for kids. I would assume so too, but I don't know. I've never seen it. I mean, all, I mean, all the, all the turtles are for kids, but I mean, like, just more kitty looking. Yeah. And then he said, Maybe younger kids. Did you buy the Haslab Sentinel? If so, how many? Uh, oh, you're just asking about that today. Yeah. So I bought one. I only bought one. Um, I'm not sure if I've been charged for it or not. Which is, I, I think that they've charged already. Okay. I, I did love to hear it. <laughs> I did not. I know I was watching it as it closed out last night, and it was over twenty two thousand units. That's. A, I, I so wonder I how close it is to an actual retail release. Yeah. At this point. Well, and you know what that I'm means? Sure, that is like a retail release. Which it means we're gonna get lots of other cool shit. With, and what that means is they fucking nailed it. Mm-hmm. They, they, they they knew what they knew what the people wanted. Yeah. yeah. That's that's all they had to do. <clears throat> like, if you fucking built the right thing, they'll fucking buy it. Yeah. Right. It's, it's very simple. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I bought. I only bought one. I only need one. Um, I know people people who bought five. Yeah. yeah. So I think yeah, these three. So let me tell you that I think that well, five the, five is the right answer. Well, is five. This time, two, I'll tell you why. Two to flip to pay for the three. Is, <laughs> well, no, I just, uh, so that's how it was expressed to me. In a perfect world, and and I got to tell you, I don't think the flip on this is going to be very much because I think most people got it. Yeah. I think uh, twenty two thousand units is a lot. Well, it wasn't offered internationally. Oh, that's just cruddy. <laughs> so if if you you know put it on eBay and an offer you know eBay's international shipping is super easy, right? You ship you basically pay to ship it to Kentucky, and I guess they put it in. Well, I don't know if it's Kentucky or it's Kentucky, you know, down south, right? Um, they put it in, I guess, a container and then ship them to wherever, <laughs> and then they divvy it up from there. But you don't have to pay, you know. That's nice. That's very nice. Yeah. 
if you've never done that before. <clears throat> so, um, I didn't even know that was a thing. I never sold the uh, three regular ones mm-hmm. in a triangle formation. Mm-hmm. That's easy. And then you get the one Master Made and the one Trinity one, the one with three heads, because it comes with different mm. head options. Now. Oh, yeah. oh okay. so you get one three headed one, you get one Master Mold one, and then you get three for the inf- for the infantry. I think Marilyn Phil went, on, went in on one. Oh, did he? Because he was asking me, he's like, "Hey, if you see anybody that does the Tri Sentinel arms, like a three D printed, and I, said, I said somebody will. It may take yeah. it coming out, so they'll figure out how to." Yeah, do to it, connect but. properly, yeah. Yeah. somebody will find it. it. So I, I, I might try to incorporate the heads, like the extra heads, like the master mold into a diorama. Somehow That's what almost something. everybody has said. They're going to use the. the it's the too heads. small though for the master mold. Master mold is fucking huge. No, I know, I, yeah. know, I know, I know. Like yeah, in the cartoon, remember like yeah, like, like, they're coming off his leg and shit. Sentinels were walking out of his shit. I'm like, how does that even fucking work? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And uh, let me double check the emails real quick, just to make sure we didn't get anything while we were sitting here that I can get off my phone, so to speak. Um, negative. So that's it for questions. Shout out to the rest of the cool table. Shadow cast, cast uncut, enter the realm. Uh, Stacy Slock, toy detox, building up to it, breaking the mold, fresh communications, and verbally challenged. Uh, shout out to the rest of the folks on Nerd Rage. We got Phil on Twitter and on our notes. We got Dante and his Off the Mats podcast uh, handling our Facebook. We got uh, Manny, uh, who I might need to touch. Cause we're talking about doing some upgrades equipment-wise here. Um, and we got um, Tyler, Esteban, Andy helping me with uh, both Andys, helping me with Force Friday, Force Sensitive stuff. And Raul. Raul, of course, on Instagram. How could I forget? Um, and I think I think that does it. And with that, Flappy Labius. Tasty tank. Side dick player. <laughs>